I'm Gary Chalk, and you're listening to who? Three Black Geeks. Three Black Geeks. Three Black Geeks. Well, that's just prime. Anyways, uh, what's going on, folks? We're back. VBG with our uh, guest, Prime Gundam. What's going on, sir? Guten Tag, bitches. Guten Tag. <laughs> As always, like um, much like Gundam and um, Ninja Turtles so far, uh, all right, um, Prime is with us with an, on another Street Fighter uh, movie, and um, it has to be the, the, the you know what is so funny people people love this movie a whole lot, a whole lot, and and at the same time they they all say it sucks. It, it's just, and you know you know I think we all were either disappointed or we hid hid our shame that we kind of like this movie <laughs> for years. I was in the camp of kind of both, kind of both. Like I always said, this movie stinks. Right? I don't know about you. Um, even back then, when the movie came out, I felt some way. Did you feel really? some way? Yeah, you know, like- like Your 10, like, your ten year old self was just like, fuck this movie already? No, you want to know what? No, you want to know? No, let me let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain why. You're making a game. I mean, sorry, you're making a movie based on the most, probably the world's most popular video game at the time. Two years, two years into its uh, history. <laughs> three, technically. Oh, three, yeah. Street Fighter One. And no, it's, well, Street Fighter Two um, came out in ninety one. Street Fighter Two. Street oh, Fighter okay. Two. So, anyway, yeah. anyway, like, you, you're making this movie based on the most popular fighting game in the world. And you know the one thing that was missing? Where the special moves at? Well, got a couple, got a couple of moments. <laughs> she I'm will. not counting that pseudo shit, and I'm not counting. I'm not counting the camera flash of uh, Hadouken. Of that, camera no, flash Hadouken. No, the camera, the camera flash non-existent Hadouken. The camera flash non-existent uh, Guile flash kick. I was about to say, single, was this supposed to be a fake not flash? A single, not a single sonic boom was fired. Not a Kikoken. Nothing. No projectile. No projectile. No yeah. projectile whatsoever. But then that would take money from Guile's sick ass boom. What do you, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we got to right. sell toys. You're right. No, 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 you're right. You're right. And you're right, Prime, because check this out. This movie had a $35 million budget. $8 million of that went to Van Damme alone. So you're probably asking yourself, what did the producers think about the other characters that weren't Guile in the movie? Like, you know, all the, I'm pretty sure they focus tested and said, hey kids, what'd you like about this movie? Well, we didn't see Ken or you. This is what the producers said. Soft, overrated, pretty boy, a bitch. So, so fun story. Fun I have story. So fun story. much disrespect to Kid Ryu. Fun, fun story. Fun story. Mm-hmm. So the writer, De Souza. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if you think you don't you don't know who that is, you're lying. You do. Um, mm-hmm. He wrote Commando, Die Hard mm-hmm. One and Two. Um, Great. Great. Oh, it shows. Man, and man. it shows. It shows in this movie. Mm-hmm. So he is also a fan of Street Fighter. That also shows. Well, he um, did Hudson Hawk and Judge Dredd, so you get the good one. Man. Right. Right. So it could have it could have come up a whole lot worse. Um, there was a lot of judge this. There was a lot of that judge dread film in this. Thank you. There's a lot of well, no, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, this too. Go ahead, There's on this too. On this too. Yes, yes, it is. And um, he initially only wanted seven characters. Right? Okay, because he said that's the that's the magic number. And that's the sweet spot. Okay, so that's the OG crew before the new challengers, basically. Basically, basically. Yeah. And um, the well, studio said, you know what? You know, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. And so they kept coming here with notes. He had finished the script. He had a completed mm-hmm. script. Everything was tight, nuts and bolts, everything in place. Uh, the studio and Capcom came and said, hey, can you uh, fit in this one character? Like he doesn't have to be doing anything. He can just be, you know, for just a quick shot cameo in the background. So I was saying, okay, cool, I can do that. You can go, you know, it's just a quick cameo, no big deal, no big, no big issue. And so he inserted the character into the finish, the character into a scene. Once he did that, they came back with some more notes and went, well, you know, since he's already here in the scene, you know, can they do, you know, X, can they just have him do X, Y, and Z? It's like, oh, okay, well, sure. That's how you end up with shit like Balrog being um, Chun Lee's cameraman. Because he's like, well, someone has to fill the role, so why not make it Balrog? Oh, you want him to appear more times as a recurring character? Oh, okay. So they did that several more times, so he got the full 14 that Capcom wanted in the movie to begin with. And that's. 
the seven that he wanted to do. So, also considering, as you do. also I can tell also considering, <laughs> like considering uh, that when this movie was being made, when I found out that Capcom mandated being the co uh, the co-financier of this movie, oh, did they have mm, vice grip? on like on this entire movie they said hey here's your money you have until december of 1994 to get this shit released it's hard release date they, they came I, back what you <laughs> have to you have to get it released oh and by the way throw i want you to put in the new challengers because we just put this game out and if i'm not mistaken they had a lot of challenges going in because um raw julia um rest of soul uh, had just had surgery for uh, his stomach cancer, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you got Van Dan over there cooked about his mind, so they had to do a uh, non-conventional uh, shooting schedule because you know normally, if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, usually for action movies like this, you want to do your um, kind of talky bits, face form bits up front. Then you want to kind of fill in and sprinkle in the action bits around as you go. But yeah, because, because you don't Julia. Want because Julia was so sick, they couldn't do the standard shooting. So they had to shoot, they had to shoot it in reverse, like they had to do it the, the other way around. And so um, by the time they got to, you know, get all set up, and a matter of fact, the, the movie wasn't even fucking fully cast when they started rolling cameras and started shooting. Like, um, Kylie Minogue wasn't um, brought on this cameo until I want to say, like, what was it, Chris? Like two weeks or so in the film or something if, like if that? that two, if two weeks. Fucking serious. Insanity. Yeah. And so when they got to start and shoot up, and I believe it was in Taiwan, is that right? Yeah, nope, Thailand. They were Thailand. in Thailand. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thailand. Actually, no, no, no. I can't take that back. <laughs> Some of the exterior shots were shot in in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. However, a lot of this movie was filmed in Australia. Yeah. Wow. Second unit. 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 Second uh, D'Souza, uh, higher an Australian actor. All right, good night, mate. Good night, mate. Now listen to me, mate. I need you to put all Whitney Houston into this movie, okay? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Good call on their part. So, um... Hey, look, Kylie Minogue, God bless her, she's still around. And, yeah, I brought up her name the other day and somebody was like, oh, my back. I have arthritis. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Sorry. Had to get it. Since the time now. So anyway, by the time they get to when they're starting yes, to film me, they were like 15 or 16 days behind schedule. And they kindly, you know, came to the studio and came to Capcom and was like, hey, you know, you know, we had all these things going on with Raw Julia, you know, we're still casting. Can we maybe get a next No. No, you may not. December 94. Get the fucking shooting. <laughs> get out of my get so out You mean to tell me Capcom told them that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this, is our, no. this is this is our most popular well, yeah, this is our most popular is, is I, that, like this is our most popular IP and we are co-financing. Now this is not now, now hold on right? hold this on is now right? like now now with that being said you are more than welcome to give the money back to us. <laughs> so what you're saying is that Ono was in that room when this happened, right? I don't think he was. He was still a programmer Ooh, at the time. I, I think thank, this much. thank you, Tevin, because I was just about to mention that fucking nightmare blunt rotation we had that, that uh, in succession. So when <laughs> Super Mario Brothers, then Double Dragon, <laughs> then this shit. <laughs> mm. Let me tell you something. Out of <laughs> these three movies, out of these, out of these three movies, Street Fighter is probably the only one that actually looked like it at least played two stages of the game to where you're like, all right. You know what? I feel that we need to look at Double Dragon again and and treat it with real, you know, film cricket eyes. No, street. No, this Street Fighter movie played more like a loosely based GI Joe. It did. Yes, but that was that was intent because I think that's also what uh Souza wanted to do. He wanted to do like a kind of a Bond adventure movie with it. Which is, that's why yeah, he did. He said, he said this. He's he like he said 
the man clearly said, I did not want to make this a martial arts movie. Instead, I'm going to make it a cross between Star Wars, James Bond, and a war movie. I, now, I like to enough. say, Eris, when you think of the sh- uh, when you think of Shotokan, you also think of Luke Skywalker, okay? When you think of Chung Lee's hero league. Like, oh, what the hey, fuck? Hey, 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 do you know, hey, D, do hold you on, know D, the D, reason D, why they D. got away with that shit? H- hang on, Prime. Hang on, Prime. The D, movie D, is called Street D. And- D. D question. Yes, What's sir. a Shotokan? Well, What's uh, a Shotokan? <laughs> 1994, sir. I'm asking you what is well, a Shotokan? Well, that's the that's the martial art that they- <laughs> The you know show how, you, I guess you know, that's how they sold it too. Well, Where are you so that re that Ryu all <laughs> trains? Ryu, stop Look it, out, stop Ryu. it. Where, no, one stop Japanese it. dude in the background going, Nani. <laughs> Stop it. Where where are no, you no, getting that? Ryan, no, where, where are you are getting you, that source from? Where are you getting that source from? Did Capcom tell you this? Or was that Steve from accounting? Steve from accounting. Steve. He got it from Susan, so I don't tell you. I'm only asking that I'm only asking that question because unlike the future, where you know, fast forward to uh the 20 of uh, the 2000s where Udon Comics specifically asked Capcom, hey. What's the story of this? We're making a comic. We want the source material to come directly from your mouths. What? That actually makes a lot of sense. Sit down. <laughs> then they went, yeah, so we're going to just get your back. <laughs> Got tables and jumped out the window. Uh. So no, do you know the reason I... why they leaned heavily into that fucking G.I. Joe motif? So around this same time, guess who had the master toy license uh, for yeah, was... Street Fighter? Mattel? Hasbro. Hasbro. Yeah, Hasbro. Hasbro. Okay. Makers of what's this? Let me check my notes here. Um, something called jo- G G G Joe G Joe G Joe. Oh, the oh. old Korean G.I. Joe. Hero. Oh, okay. The old Korean hero. <laughs> yeah, him. Oh, oh, Korean hero. G.I. Joe. Yeah, they they Hasbro had the uh God. They did the toys for G.I. Joe, which they also in turn did the Air toys. Quotes. Hold Air on, quotes. hold on. They did the toys, by the way, for. Street Fighter, as well as the Mortal Kombat toys. Like, like, you, said, those, you said did the toys. You mean air coat? They you know airbrushed a couple of GI Joe. Things. Yes, we airbrush. About that. We Street Fighter about that sticker on the, um, some vehicles. Yeah, we talked about that when we did the animated movie. Hold on, but I mean not the animated movie, but hey, the, hey, the, hey, the the TV show. That all hey, they were was just repurposed. A hey, prime, you know, and you know that they did that crap on the cheap. When when you buy the Mortal Kombat figures, and both of their legs are literally held together with a rubber band. Oh man, that uh, black rubber band. Yes, that that, that thick ass O ring that they took sir, off of a car. Say, <laughs> sir, <laughs> we respect the U ring in this house, sir. <laughs> sir, U ring. God damn it. Thank you. Oh man. my god. I, I, I feel held together, many with hopes and, held together with many hopes and dreams. And you know what? Here's the thing. I can tell, like, who were the six people here that he wanted to use? Oh, like Bryson Guile. And again, like you said, Cammy wasn't there until like you know an hour later. <laughs> I want to say Bison. If I were to go, if I were to go off of which characters, if if I were to take a guess, I would say Bison, Guile, Chun Li, mm, Honda, Balrog. We got one. No, no, one one more, one more. Because because Hollywood and fuck you, Sagat, but no Ryu. I would. I (laughs) say. I know Hollywood. Chris that's, knows exactly that peak, feeling. Peak fucking Hollywood. That is peak Hollywood. <laughs> so, I got Guy Old Chung Lee, <laughs> M. Bison, uh, um, Dulcie and Blanca. I think Dawson and Blanca were there from the beginning. You cannot convince me that they didn't have it. Oh, long. yeah. It looked like they have it in that whole block. But I think that was supposed to be in there in the first place. Let me tell you something, folks. Um, we talk about, you know, as much as I say the movie it looked like they played like the first two stages of Street Fighter, the opposite, of it, it, the opposite of it is true because, um, yeah, so there are things that happen with certain characters that the movie decided, oh shit, this is Street Fighter, right? Dow Sim. Dow Sim is a doctor, right? Stereotypical Indian doctor, by the way, by the way. 
And then in, in the movie, all of a sudden, he's like his character in the game. And I'm like, that came abruptly out the fucking blue. Like, where did, where did no, this No, it didn't come, come abruptly. You want to know what happened? When all the, you want to know how all this happened, Chris? During the chaos, the gunfights, the shooting, the explosions, <laughs> the, the explosion somehow blew Shut off up. his hair, gave him the fu- <laughs> gave him the chains and all. Yes, yes, gave him the fucking chain around his neck. He still kept that, but his hair was gone. <laughs> or, or, or he was There's wearing a, a no or CGI scene we never or got, was it? <laughs> or he was wearing a wig the whole time. Here's my thing. <sighs> All right, for me, for me as a kid, okay, I think subconsciously I knew this 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 movie was going to be shit. So my whole my whole point was to point out everybody that was in the game, in the movie, and I will never forget what before he said Dawson, I saw that chain around his neck, and I was like, no skulls, no, no skulls, no. Why is the Indian doctor <laughs> the lack of the lack of skulls around his neck made me very sad. I you, was, are, you, you care you give two shits, but I don't care about the skull. I care about the fact that this nigga just all of a sudden is just like, okay, now he has the diaper on and that's Chris. They I like been, how that just Chris, showed up. He was straight up in Chris, they, How did that Chris, happen? Chris, they could have been listen, the skulls could have been literally the size of this fucking SD card. I don't care about those it's details. It's just the it's fact the that why would you even... It's the effort. There, there was no effort. effort. It wouldn't that have was saved his character. I'm I didn't sorry. say the anything about part. saving his character. I don't give a shit about saving the character, dude. Have you uh, seen the movie? It's the beyond part, saving, no sir. It, no there point, is yeah. no saving this movie. You can only sit back and laugh at the dumpster fire, okay? Hey, that's Chris, why we laugh at this one. Your boy showed up. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Okay, first I of, was hey, once hey, a man. Okay, we mentioned this in the Street Fighter. We, I, okay, so we talked about this in the Street Fighter animated series. I like how the animated series tried to make Charlie and Block the same person, which I blame them this movie particularly for that because it made a lot of kids believe that Blanca and Charlie were the same character. That was the, the whole okay. that no, was but hold on, hold on. The, the whole point of the USA cartoon well, was like, to be like a pickup off of this movie. Well, I know, but it confused people because when you got to the Alpha series, when it came out on PlayStation, it was like, who the hell is this Charlie guy? That's 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 actual Charlie. Like that's so, who he, so, like. so check this out. So check this out. Notice that there was no Blanca. Yeah, there's no Blanca. No Blanca. <laughs> but check this out, though. For two games. I got, I got some real fun out of it. So my son is beside me watching the shit, right? And I was like, oh, this nigga, my, my son's a little geeky doofus. So I get the reference, dad. He's one of them niggas. All right, cool. Bet. Ah, I see. Charlie. You know, all of a sudden, my son was like, no, 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 no. He was like, Charlie. He, no, he heard um, Van Damme say earlier, like, Charlie. And he was like, Charlie in this movie, dad? Like, yeah, there he is. He goes, what? 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 Where's this blonde hair at? Ch- Carlos Blanca. Carlos Blanca. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> my son had the most passive aggressive Gen Z face I have ever seen in my life. What a! I ain't watching this movie. He was like, "What the like, fuck no is bullshit. this?" He stopped watching that movie with me. <laughs> I was like, "He was like, is that supposed to be down soon? Yes, son. I was like, "I quit. I, I don't care. This is stupid." I don't care. He said. I came from, he was like, Dad, I thought this was going to be like, you know, when um, Ken and Ryu did the floating um, hurricane kick. I thought it was going to be something like that. This is just stupid. <laughs> Ken and Ryu doing the floating kick. This is just, ah! I wish there was that, man. Do you know I was, <laughs> do you know that? I'm sorry. Remember that scene where he was doing it at the end where he was kicking off? Who was he kicking? He was kicking Sagat Vegas, at the end of the movie. It was Vega and Sagat. I think yeah, it was but, Ken. Ken but was doing Ken, it with Ken, the. Yeah, we can't keep doing the kids. Standing sure you can. Standing sure you kids. <laughs> I will never forget my dad going, see, that's like on the video game. Hey, Dwayne, you ain't shit for that nigga. You ain't shit for that. Get the hell out of my face with that but shit. My dad knew that movie was terrible. <laughs> what, the fuck, what are we doing? See, here? see, it's just like the video game. No one ain't dead. Stop that shit. <laughs> the Vichy games. <laughs> the like on the print. You, you gotta say Vichy games. <laughs> Just like you're on Atari there, right, boy? Yeah, like you're on your Nintendo, man. You know how that go. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. The, the, the guy, the man, the myth, the legend, the reason, the reason why we, we adore this movie. 
this guy. Ah, uh, yes. This guy, Roy Jules. Master Bison. I, that's what you know. That's what he asks. That's the first thing Royal Julie asks. M. Bison. That is master, right? But hold, but hold on, hold on. He is a man who has such hubris that he has this. Bison. Oh, Bison I got that same thing. I oh, love yes. the flex. I love the flex. Your boy Sagat was like, these are useless. And this thing like, not. Mm. No. Basically, they no, were no, going to no, be, no, what no, was the, the equivalent line, exchange? I believe the, no, I believe the line was, these things aren't worth the paper it was printed on. On the contrary. <laughs> he said they'll be worth like one million British pounds, pounds as soon as I kidnap the Queen of England. <laughs> I'm like, good luck trying to get that shit happening. No, 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 no. It would have happened. It would have. Shadow Lou, Shadow Lou would have pulled up the Buckingham Palace Blah, 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 and got her out there. Joke. Everybody's With in the like multicolored the ass camouflage <laughs> uniform. By the way, I like how they was wearing red camouflage in the in in the jungle. Same name for the good guys wearing blue. What the fuck is this? It's like God. It's, like it's like imagine what playing Metal Gear. Like imagine playing Metal Gear Solid Three, and you turn on the camouflage. Like you turn on the fucking blue camouflage, and you're out in the desert. It makes. It, what does this do? Nothing. Uh, I, I, everybody I running around nothing. everybody running around with negative 25 percent oh god yes yes man i think uh but <laughs> that's the i i hated that so much these guys clearly that's a have flex, bright that's a red flex. what i mean have, look look what look. to have a full army wearing bright ass colors <laughs> look this this is this is following american ninja logic remember in the american ninja movies the ninjas had different color multi-suit ninja outfits that made no but that's brightest. because we knew how, we needed the to know brightest. how strong they were no the no uh, are you thinking of the uh, the pierre kirby and godfrey ho move oh, like ninja those, movies no no, no, no american ninja okay, they so would have no because they would have the word ninja. they would have the word yeah, yeah. ninja on so, their head the american ninja movies and this even white in, guy, so the american ninja, so the american ninja movies and even three ninjas kicked back when they went to japan the ninjas had green, reference. blue, red, and like black, the regular black ones. I'm like, so why do we? Ha- How do you leader, blend again? And What's the leader, going on here? And, and Chris, and the leader always wore uh, black and yellow. Yeah, yeah, black and yellow. So in this and, one, and if he's and if you try to be sexy, he got like the arm guard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you know. Ah! <laughs> so in this one, the UN, they're wearing blue fatigues, which is okay. Are you the are you the navy? I guess. And then Bison's troopers are wearing red fatigues, which I'm like, sure, gotcha, I, I guess. Bust off the break. Dad, ain't, 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 ain't Chung Lee and Inter- Inter- Interpol? Yes, that would make sense. But she's a uh, newscaster. Shut up, Main Nye is here. This is the first role we're going to clap for. <laughs> God bless her, but she even she said, look, if you re- if you look at the behind the scenes, bear in mind where Main Nye was at in her career at that time. As she always sits there and says she had fun doing the movie, but at the same time, it's paying the bills. Yeah, it is what it is. It like it's Tuesday. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey, man, you ain't lying. It's like you know it's how like, hard kids, it is. Uh, your mom is uh, gonna be in the Street Fighter movie. Got to pay pay for your dental bills. <laughs> and then, no, man, I try to and, and to be to immortalized and to be immortalized forever by getting herself and the rest of the cast completely digitized for the street fighter the movie the game that was uh that was a moment wasn't it it's I'm still a moment it. people still just, play that game sir and look i gotta be <laughs> shout out the fight k2 <laughs> now here's the errors i hate the fact that the one thing i do hate about being a three black geeks is that i have fatigue now when it comes to certain things I hear 15 of you right now clicking on your day. You know Ernie Way is senior. Was a Kuma in that game? I hear y'all. Stop. Just stop. That's cool. Right that's now. that's cool. That doesn't make the game any better. Oh god. Considering that they put Akuma in the game after the movie was done. Oh, I super, like that. And Super that Turbo thing, was and Super Turbo like was already was out. Back, it feels like there was more to that story. <laughs> Like they already gave him a Kuma suit. He was like, "You supposed to be in the movie?" I get. Like, why did they and why did they make a Kuma in that game look Filipino? 
Because Ernie Captain Reyes Sawada Sr. Needed, looks like he's Filipino. Because Captain Sawada needed a buddy. That, that's First of all, okay, also, okay, let's, Captain Sawada, let me bring, let me bring that, that up, by the way. I want to bring that up about Captain Sawada. So get this. Remember I said I said this earlier before we started recording, gentlemen. I said, you know, movie, you have Captain Sawada here who you pretty much have the perfect Ryu. Apparently, he was supposed to be Ryu. Wait, he really was supposed to be Ryu? <laughs> yes, he was yeah. supposed to be Ryu. But they however, around. however, Hollywood fashion, they're like, we can't get this Chinaman. And you want to know, hold on. Know. No, dude was actually legit Japanese. Kenya Sawada, he was like, he was originally brought in to be Ryu primarily because he had a promotional contract with Capcom. And that was going to be like the instant shoe in for him to be Ryu. And who they got? Oh, who, what was it? Uh, uh, what's his name? Freaking Byron Man, who plays Ryu in the movie. You could have had him be Fei Long because dude's actually a Hong Kong actor. Yeah. Hey. What the fuck? You had it right there. Fire it was, Man it was is right there. Underused in movies. <laughs> it was right there in front of you. And, and and you blew it. You blew it. You had it all and you blew it. We have a clip for that, but we really do. <laughs> But you know, I know how our Asian I know how our Asian Americans feel to hear that somebody who's authentic to the culture being replaced by somebody, you know, Hollywood say, hmm, they make me feel safer. Again. So Thank you you beat me to it, you asshole. <laughs> you Again. think you think I'm you think that I'm not gonna show hair plugs before you? I will. Sir, I will. Sir, I, only I would pl- press the button for our piece. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I sw- like Prime. I swear to you, anytime I even mention or show anything, and I repeat anything <laughs> RP related to these two, like uh, above us here, both of their reactions, brother. Uh. I mean, it's the truth, not me. I'm like, give it to me until like three seconds in. Like, God, this is a small penis. Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> so like all these guys got are mad at their moms for some reason. Like, stop. Like, uh. their mom told them no for McDonald's and they just took it personally. That's what all that shit is. Talk, speaking of taking personally, uh, time to time stamp this. Um, time stamp this whole episode because uh, we like to give a shout out for the deepest Re- recesses of three black geeks heart. I like to send a yeah, special yeah. shout out to my homeboy OJ Simpson. Keep up the good work, baby. Two less. We got the <laughs> RIP OJ. I wish he was RIP OJ. Orenthal. Orenthal. I wish he was. I wish Orenthal. he was. I'm sorry. I wish Orenthal was DJ in this movie. Orenthal, no, Orenthal does not need to be DJ. If anything, Orenthal should have been uh, well, ball. Yeah. Well, we did have an OJ that was a uh, DJ that was Bo Billingsley, who would later play OJ in, in, in the um, in the um, in the Vince Staples show. So, shout out to uh, shout, 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 shout out to him. He, he was a, he's an all star. He's an all star. But no, um, Miguel Nunez plays DJ, and hey, you know what, man? Shout out to Miguel Nunez. Shout shout Miguel to Miguel Nunez. Is, he is actually the MVP in this movie. Just for this line, of, hell no, nah, General. <laughs> like just for nah, that nah, right nah, there. Nah. He's like, congratulations, General. On the contrary, That's I'm a... on. Okay. Oh, okay. No, like okay. This. okay. <laughs> Jamaica, here I come. Oh, that's, that's my thing, though. So a lot of people say. A lot of people say this movie is funny unintentionally. I disagree. I, I'm pretty sure every laugh is intentional. Like this. Oh. Every one of them. Mm. Oh, no, no. You know the one that was unintentional? Quick change the channel. Quick change the channel. And everyone having the time to turn and look at Zangief. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have a van filled with explosives coming Fuck in. And y'all, and y'all want to do the comedic effect of turn slow turning to look at Zangief because he said something stupid? I like I like the, the deep lore that's in this movie that I didn't know. And since Capcom approved everything, this is approved. DJ used to work for Microsoft. I did not know that. I did not I know that. Never learned. I should have never left Microsoft. 
<laughs> oh, I heard that joke. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I lost it. Yeah, like, hold up. We got they really some lore. Like, they, they really just said we're going to throw some deep lore into this. DJ was a tech, was IT support. Sir, I that this it, was sir, Chris off a of motherfucking defense. Sir, <laughs> everything in this movie like had stupid Bro, lore. Like, like, like here. Okay, uh, case in point. So, remember I told you this Byron Man plays Ryu, right? Apparently, the full name is Ryuchi Ryu Hoshi. Fuck you. That's not real. You trying yes, to be funny, is. Harris. I'm not even trying to be funny. Quit being... Stop that. Look, I know I might have had a little to drink and all, but no, I'm not being funny. Oh, you drank before this? Wow. Shocker. Hey, man, shout out Chris, to Chris, have you seen this movie? I know, yeah, right? I enjoy Thank every you. minute of it. I mean, but also, I did like how they just throw it in. Number one, uh, so... Hold uh, up, hold uh, up. Hold, 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 the hold, part hold. for me was Hoshi. That's, I'm sorry, I had to get that out. I, I, had, I had to funny. let that out. <laughs> because, again, the movie forgets about these characters and what they are. I like how Balrog and fucking E-Honda was like, yeah, he disgraced my boxing career. That's why I'm a cameraman Shadow now. Luton ruined <laughs> Shadow my Shadow Lou, they, they, they ruined my reputation in the sumo field. That's why I'm a Hawaiian sumo and not a yeah, Japanese yeah, sumo. Same, like, yeah, <laughs> same thing to my boxing career. So that's why I operate a camera with my gloves. I like when he said that. Like, that's why you're like, yeah, you know, because I'm from Hawaii. Here's, I just see John Claw. See, that's how you do that. That's how you, that's how you make sure that you cover your bases when it comes to like the accents and all the rest of that. Everybody believes I'm American already. So, it's, you know, that's different. That's different. Some people got to go differently. <laughs> Shout out to Peter Tulasopa, um, Samoan. You know, he, he's, I he's love. A- Shout out to the, bro- all right, the dude playing Barlog. Who is he? Oh, because that was the that was the FBI agent in Die Hard that got that killed. That was Grand Hellcom. Grand L. Bush. Yes, it was as as Gerard Balrog. Now, <laughs> not need to know his first name what? ever. What? <laughs> Gerard Balrog. Okay, D. Here's a challenge for you. I need <laughs> you. Okay, here's the challenge. I need you to do a video of this entire cast from the oh, out of the movie. Oh, but you have, but you have to, but, but you have to use the Yakuza intro cards underneath. It. <laughs> <laughs> do do Gerard Balrog. Do. Gerard Gerard Balrog. Gerard. Balrog. Gerard. Gerard Barlow. Hand on a stack of Bible, sir. That was his name in this movie. A man was born in the hospital. My baby's gonna be Gerard Balrog. How y'all get that last name? It was a funny ass story. See, my dad actually was in the room with when JJR Token wrote Lord of the Rings. I mean, if we were going off of a technicality, his name could have been Gerard Boxer. Oh god. And General, sorry, uh General Bison. General Dictator? Yes, General Dictator. General and Entertainment Claw. Matador Claw. Right. I mean. Movie is so stupid. Gerard. <laughs> you know what? That just reminds me from the Street Fighter animated series where fucking Barra had a box of gloves. Hey, Bison, I got this videotape over here. Now, the best one. Is, Shout out to no, that. The best, one, the best one was him with Hang the boxing on. gloves typing on the keyboard. <laughs> I like how they get out of prison. He's Ooh, like, I found some boxing gloves. Let's go. I'm like, E Honda has a band, has has a rubber band and puts his head in the little sumo thing. It was like, all right, let's fight. I'm like, okay, okay. You know the part. You know, where- you know what? To be fair though, CJ, man, keep in mind now. This came out in the time of Hollywood when they were ashamed of shit. So the fact that the characters sort of kind of look like the video game, that's that that's a plus, man. That's they, they I try. Hate that's a minimal. Kind gentlemen, of gentlemen, agree. gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We had this. This was like next level, next level Hollywood movie stupid, like stupidity. We would not see this again for at least a good, ooh, I want to say a good ten years, where a little movie called The King of Fighters comes out, and your boy Terry punches a homeless guy, snatches his hat, and puts it on, and you bam, know, he's Terry Bogart. You know, in this movie. They had the fighting urge not to have Ryu rip something off and go. Ugh. They they were fighting that oh, urge. You okay. know they were. If, he was, if he was the main character, you damn well know it would have been. Say, oh, yeah, that would have happened. Oh, how about the fact that both Ryu and Kid 
were wearing the Shadaloo well, training they, dogies. They, they ripped it off. And they just the, ripped the off the patches and they're in their uniform. Here's, here's the funny thing. Okay, so Damien Chopper. The um, fuck? So, so <laughs> Damien's a training in Japan. Non-existent. <laughs> so Damien Chopper, Hispanic. He's he's like a Hispanic Italian in real life. He was in this movie. You should watch it. Blood in, blood out. It's pretty much Hispanic all-star movie. Easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they had this dude playing T-Hawk. And at the end of the movie, he puts on a feather and was like, yeah, I'm part Native American. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, he said part no, Cherokee. CJ, CJ, CJ. First of all, Lou Diamond first, Phillips is busy. <laughs> is that what no, I mean? CJ, stop it. You will not tell Greg Rainwater, <laughs> who plays Sergeant Thunderhawk. I want you to say that last thing again. He plays who? Sergeant, Sergeant Thunderhawk. Now, here's the stu- Here's the thing. That's stupid. Here's the second thing. You know, there's a chance there is a Native American with that last name. And to you, God. Damn it, that's awesome. Yeah, Greg, <laughs> my bad, Greg Rainwater, because I forgot Damien Chopper plays Ken. Got both actors mixed up. But either which way, I'm like, so like, you know, Leave Americans got some badass last names. Like, um, unfortunately, that guy that passed away, uh, he's a part of the O Plenty family. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> brings O Plenty. I like that's their motherfucking names. <laughs> so I'm getting mixed up. So Greg Rainwater, Hulk, so Greg Rainwater running is, bear. <laughs> so Greg like, Rainwater awesome. is Native American. Okay, never mind. Back up, see, back up, see, back up, back see, up, back up, see. Probably the most accurate thing they got in this movie. <laughs> and pro- look, Prime said it back in the day. There was a low bar. The bar was ankle. It was here. ankle level. It's here. It's here. Ankle level. It's already enough. The, you had, the bar all... was kiddie pool level. <laughs> I swear. It, look, look, it was. It was as big as the, the bar was as big as ant titties, but like you like like no check this it's already, out. It's already enough. You have you, you try to convince us that Val Kilmer was Native American, so it's you know. I just love the fact that he said Cherokee, and I mean that. Hold on, this shows you how dirty D was or autistic, whatever you want to say. But when I was a kid, I heard that. Cherokee, and I was like, Yeah, but you know, like every black person, I was told I was part Cherokee, but anyway, oh, I was like, Yeah, but then I immediately thought, But then I immediately thought, Hey, D, where's T Hawk from? The Southwest, nigga, you know, there ain't no fucking Cherokees. I'm like, This movie just did some like, did a what is that called? And and then it hit D until I was 13. Racism! That's what that was! Sism. <laughs> this racism is killing me inside. <laughs> I didn't recognize it until older, until I was an older lad. <laughs> Man, I said until he was an older lad. Like, look, oh my I get God. It. But it, Van but Damage I, plays Colonel William F. Guile. See now... Brussels. See... That explains the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Ming Na Wen is Chun Li Zhang. Did you know that cat? Did you know that Capcom um, wanted Van Dam? Like he was their one of their first choices to be Guile. Of and, course. And, and when they brought up, well, what about the accent? They went, what accent? What <laughs> accent? Capcom was like, we gotta get this money. That's all they care. About. Have you seen the splits? They seen it. They seen it. They viewed it. One of them touched it, but you know it's Hollywood. Everybody touches. <laughs> I'm kind of. You know what? I'm mad. It never. They never worked that into Guile in any future Street Fighter game as a not reference. One. Not one. Not, not one. one. Hey, not a one. Not a nail. Not a nail. Shout out to Van Dam for not getting me too. By the way, should have. I, 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 I swear. I thought Van Dam was real wonderful. Swear. Not the lack of trying. I hey, swear, look, not hey, the look, lack of trying. Look, D, it was 1994, and we it's, it's, against it's, the same shit. It's, hey, look, it was John Claw back in '94. This was this was LeBron in 2016, nigga. He's going to go for. He on time. He's a stop. I mean, no, man. I I let like to hear the fact that like this is, for me it's weird because I didn't know that until this morning. That John Claude was on cocaine for this movie. And yeah, oh, duh. Look at the performances, duh. But 
I, I like what blows my mind is that he was such a fucking diva, and it all came back to me like John Claude was always like this shit. <laughs> like the second John Claude, the second Frank Dukes made that fake ass story, he he, he knew he was a star since then. <laughs> so it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny just Surprise, to hear Frank that John Dukes ass wasn't even involved in this damn movie. No, God forbid, the movie would have been better. <laughs> The movie would have been better. Mm -hmm. This copy of Bloodsport. Ironically, that was the right move. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Because Frank Dukes would have never been, he would have never been nowhere near the set. Because remember, this was not supposed to be a martial arts movie. Oh, yeah. Or again, Capcom was cool with that. Yeah, Capcom was cool with it not being a martial arts movie. Hmm. They said, here's the money, here's your target date, get the work. That explains Legend oh, of Chun-Li. By, like the well. by the way, keep oh, them yeah. costumes on. By the way, keep them costumes on. Be in the warehouse. We're filming the game in five minutes. Let's go. <laughs> by the way, have you played this game called Super Street Fighter 2? <laughs> the following characters. The new challengers. <laughs> the new challengers. These characters have just been introduced. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need you to put them in this movie as well. I already have right. my seven. I don't I don't need to put any more. Yeah. So uh do you need more money? Do you right, need everybody. more money? All right, everybody, like we rehearsed, and I swear to God, if it don't look like the picture that we had in our mind, we're gonna do this all over again. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, hey. let's talk about this. Let's <laughs> talk about this. Hey, shout out <laughs> to my nigga Sawada. Shout out to my boy Sawada. He know he don't belong in here. But he you doesn't. know what? Fuck you. I am here. I'm gonna say one thing. Um, this is probably the most accurate thing from Street Fighter in general. Everybody is in fact doing their pose from the game. <laughs> Wouldn't T Hawk ever do that though? Oh, uh, he does, except he does. you know, yeah, he does. I'm just so used to him being like seven foot nine and shit. No, no, no. You're used to T Hawk doing the other one where he sits fully Indian style and actually says how or sir. We call that first nation. We call that first nation. First nation. (laughs) First nation. First nation. (laughs) One knee and nigga. (laughs) Ain't even one knee. He goes full sit down and does that shit. No, this pose is actually the one where. No, no, no. (laughs) This pose is from uh, Super Street Fighter 2. You know, let's just call it, you know, uh, considering that his stage is uh, Mexico. My man hitting his uh, Mexico uh, GQ pose, I where, love. He t- where he takes that one knee, leans over. <laughs> That's I got Hey, I gotta give it up, my boy Barlog. He he getting what he can get with that man. I mean, he Even clearly he, wasn't ripping that shirt off. Yeah, he also looked like he could have also been like a Jax replacement. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean Saber should have been Balrog instead of this guy? Oh, right, right. The, the dude that plays Zangief, you know, he had fun. You can tell, man. He is another character actor that's been in a lot of movies. Hey, Kylie, all right, you're working with something. Mm, you're trying, but they without, gave, the they, they gave, without no, 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 that's not full fat, though, my nigga. No, it ain't. Without any, with, they had with, to do one cami move, and that was it. I was kind of disappointed. In that what? what? Of, oh, oh, and Chris, the one where she all, yelled out, "Fresh shit, kid." Yeah, yeah, that it like, wasn't even that because that wasn't what even. I it, that was not a move, time. sir. That was not a move. The only yeah, move she, did, the, the only move that she did, no, the only move that she did in this in this whole movie was leap on top of somebody and do a half ass Frankensteiner. Air, that was it. Air, let me tell you something. I saw that and I was like, "That's the best one. This is the best. That's this is the, the best we got." Now, now, hold on, D, get another shot. This D, gonna look like that. Now, D, uh, put the picture back up again. Oh my god. Now going back to the, the, that shot of Kylie. Um it ain't the same without the Unitar. This is like looking at her with the you know, this is like looking at Cammy from Fortnite. It's a Cammy from Fortnite. That's, it is where they completely covered her. Got yeeks, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeeks, though. At least have I thought she had the tum tum out in Fortnite. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she does not. I like oh, that Ming so. Nai actually said, I'm gonna give a fuck and jump. Well, because first of all, Ming Nai gives, gives a fuck in every movie that she's in, so you know. Hey, yo, I love Ming Nai. Easy about that, Chris. Easy about that because I know somebody got two or three, like probably got two movies. Like this bitch fell asleep. 
So, let's not, let's she just, so hey, look, she did Joy Luck Club. She could do it. That don't mean nothing. That, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean shit. You know that. Joy, <laughs> that Luck, Club. Joy Luck Club. Crazy Rich Asians before Crazy Rich that, Asians. Hey, dog, dog. Mila Kunis was in Black Swan. Yeah, suck on that for a little bit. That bitch did. What was it Mila called? Kunis Horizon? will forever be. Was like, Chris, Mila Kunis is, oh, will forever be Meg. Okay. I know. I know. Like, even, yo. <laughs> yo, I'm going to say it. Black Swan, and she had that make out session. Here's me. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> like, we don't care about that. <laughs> oh, God, man. So, y'all want to hear some crazy, like, some other uh, goofiness about this movie? So, check this out. So, the Motion Pictures Association gave the, like, like gave the first submitted cut of the film an R classification. <laughs> I want to hear they, what, Was there B roll of Jean Claude doing happened? coke? <laughs> Hang on. What happened? The MPAA was about to get a... the first cut of this movie. It, uh, the MPAA saw it and was about to give it a rating of R, which was highly unacceptable to Capcom. <laughs> they said they stated from the start that it, it should have been a PG thirteen film. Of course, they went and they went back and did a whole bunch of cuts to the movie and damn near cut it down to a G rating, according to the Souza. Now, now, what happened was, wasn't there a, a, a shooting something around the same time? So some people were like really um, sensitive because America violence, you know. Is uh, this during oh, this one? This one during what's of this, was it? The movie came. The movie. The movie was supposed to come out in December of ninety four. So it wasn't something. Didn't something happen that summer? Or am I am I mixing up something? Oklahoma City was the following year, wasn't it? Yeah, I was Oklahoma, say, Oklahoma City, City that was, was ninety five, right? Yeah, that was the yeah. following year. Yeah, yeah that's all. That's like the only one I can think of. Was wait a minute? When was Toward Towers? That was like that's ninety two. That was massive. <laughs> but nine eleven ain't there yet, D. But I'm talking well, about the other one, the first uh, time. It wasn't that. Oh, yeah, yeah, first yeah, of all, yeah, like yeah. first of all, Chris, that that would technically would not be nine uh, nine eleven. Instead, that would be two ninety three. Yeah, that would be ah, we missed. <laughs> no, two, no, two ninety three because of the basement bombing, the parking garage bombing. No, that's um, what I mean. That's what I mean. Ah, if we would have got away with it too, it would have for you and that damn Giuliani. Yeah, like, yeah, more like back to the drawing board. Return these Acme products. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm thinking we should go on the motherfucking airplanes this time, nigga. Shut up, man. Me and Muhammad. No, 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 nigga. Me and Kareem was talking about it, my dude. No, I'm not doing this with you. (laughs) Well, well. (laughs) No. According to the Sousa. What will Allah say, nigga? Shut up. That's what he would say. According to the Sousa, he went back, made more cuts, and and finally got it bumped up to PG-13. As you do. So... (laughs) With an addition of an expletive in (laughs) post-production... See me tell me somebody ADR a curse word in the movie. Well, look, did, look, cuss word in I Japanese. thought it was going to be one of those situations I think, where. Hold on, I think I know. I think I know what part it was. It was Van Damme ADR at any time, dickhead. Yeah, yeah, because you can't, you couldn't say that in, in in any sort of movie. This did have childish you son of a bitch bison. <laughs> well, the accent is so thick you can get away bison, with that. Because like, what did you say? <laughs> no, you lost your balls. Apparently the UN had UN the most competent people. Like, yeah, we're gonna give uh, Bison not the, the UN, money. sir. They were the AN. The AN was the like, AN. let's give Bison the money. We're trying to get the hospital. I just no, 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 no. It. I just <laughs> loved it when the I just loved it when the bad guy from Ace Ventura Two showed up. As you know, we cannot walk into Simon Cowell. <laughs> that was Simon Cowell. Do you know that nigga still acting, man? Yes, still he is. Gotta, of he's still going strong, man. He's still going strong. But but I said, I was like, hey, you. Guano on your shoe. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> anyway. Um. So much uh, silliness. Um, did you guys, uh, Chris's favorite, um, Wes, Wes Studi playing Victor Sagat. The most uh, smallest yes. Sagat in existence. Dripping, drippiness Sagat. Again? Oh, okay, I want y'all to take a look at this. Take a look at this, this shot here. And like you said, the the man was dripped out like through this entire movie. I am so mad that across, I want to say from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5, we have not gotten Sagat in a business suit. Well, well, to be fair. Not one DLC of Sagat in a suit. You know how many people would actually play that? To be fair, have you seen the shoulders on that nigga? (laughs) 
I mean, put, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's no excuse because you can too. hold on. You get that's no excuse because they put that they put that same kind of suit on freaking Urian. So stop it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You see what Urian does? It's <sighs> yeah, custom. it's custom. It rips away. It rips away. Well, like Breakaway suit. Thing. No, no, but 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 it's more than just that. But like this nigga look cool as fuck. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I stabbed shit at this nigga. <laughs> Nah, that's, Come here hey, real quick, my I nigga. Like how, I, don't I, like how, how, I don't like how I don't like how this nigga walking around the yard. I like how Vega is just there and barely gets a speaking role, other than just to be shirtless for like a couple of scenes, and that's it. No, 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 oh, no, geez, he gets, no, 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 wait. So, no, let's stop. <laughs> let's stop, sir, sir. First of all, he doesn't just stand around, you know, shirtless. He actually does the Vega flip minus the. Yo! Well, they gave him a stage to be. That's fair, what I'm saying, right? and they put him in the freaking cage. I'm like, oh, okay. Do you want to know the truth? We're, we're actually getting, we're actually getting movie. video game accuracy here. I gave the movie points as a kid. Because of that, I am not going. You to have lie. to because it's like, well, they got to yeah, stand. Yeah, the points. All right, cool. You throw the cage in there. Like every time Vega shows oh, up, every time Vega shows up in any Street Fighter medium, he is always in a cage. Oh, except for Legend of Chun Li. We ain't gonna talk. <laughs> about it. We ain't, we ain't gonna talk about that. We, we don't. We don't talk about. Somebody that. said, what? get that dude oh, from oh, the black oh, eye. Be real. Was he in a cage in the in the animated movie? Yeah. I don't well, know. No, 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 no. What? Well, hold on. He did show up in the arena in the alpha movie and stabbed the shit out of him. Freaking damn. DJ Sue, we do not talk about that movie. <laughs> DJ Sue, we do not talk about that movie. I totally forgot about that. Also, that being said, there was also a scene where Zangief. Did the did the final atomic buster on a fucking nine year old? The crazy. hell was with Street Fighter that Alpha? Was so good, that was so satisfying. <laughs> and then he got up and did a Kuma powers. It was so stu- life well, animated that piece of shit. By the way, that shit looks so terrible, man. Uh, you know the person who animated the Alpha movie got oh, that's right. We talked about this anime, gentlemen. The person who animated, like the team that animated the Alpha movie, animated Golden Boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When it was like only two animators left from the original Golden Boy. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing there, buddy? Today, all uh, right, you're animating Street Fighter the movie. All right, man. So I got our number one, and you got the rest. I can do it. Don't worry. I got. I can ramen got in here, bro. <laughs> we got ramen in here. I got half a soap. I'm good. I'm good. I want to ask y'all, gentlemen, how do you take Ryu and Ken and just turn them into arms dealers? Well, no, they're hustlers. They're arms or hustlers. Dealers. Hustlers. They're hustlers. Street with, hustlers. Like, Street with hustlers. a heart of gold. Street hearts hustlers. of gold. Golden hearts. Okay. Hearts and minds. <laughs> and also how, you, also, how like, do you? Also, how do you? like how, 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 so No. Low. Also, how do you fuck up the the rivalry between the two? Ryu's rival is is Claw, and Ve- uh, uh, Ken's rival is Sagat. You know what? Well, I Ken wanted to, like to be like Sagat. He wanted to be like Sagat. Oh, don't wanted. stop it! Stop it, Chris! I'm taking I'm t- I'm taking two points away from you with that bullshit of hey like, hey Sagat, you can have this statue. I was want to know like why? Because I like I would have been like you. You did not. <laughs> you did not try to really work in message into this movie. No. <laughs> this movie is too damn silly for message. You can't do that. You can't Mm-mm. do that. You, you can't. You can't. This ain't it. the movie. This is not the movie for that shit. It's this like, come on, bro. Like, what, what are we doing here? Like, it's just, <sighs> bro. Here's his. Here's his. <laughs> God I wanted to finish. This. Gal, here's the thing. I like how they try to throw an emotional moment. Because number one, this is how you know the movie, like you said to start, it wanted to be a spy movie. Apparently, they have a super secret boat that can camouflage itself, which that came out of fucking nowhere. No, that was a product. No, sorry. Not product placement. That was an advertisement for their toy. Did, did they even make the toy boat? Yes, they did. Yes. I don't remember the toy Dude, boat. Hold on, Chris. We why, Remember, we was watching that YouTube video of the Street Fighter toys. I try to remember. Bro, Shit. they gave the Street Fighter Shit, characters yeah. actual G.I. Joe guns. They had tanks. They had, <laughs> they 
They had tanks, they had ATVs, they had all of this shit. Man, oh man. 90s, peak we were, 90s. We were a proper nation. <laughs> we used to be a country. We used to be a country. Used to be a country. Proper country. You lose the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I told I told D this. So my aunt, my, my mom, my mom's cousin, she had went to see Street Fighter around this time, right? And we were going to North Carolina. It's hilarious. So obviously she's a grown adult. So she was like, Yeah, I saw a Street Fighter movie. It was a stupid movie and stuff. And me, my goofy ass, I was like, I think she was like rolling her eyes at that. I guess you didn't see that, did you? I was like, How did you not like that? That was funny. That was a funny joke. Like, gal alive? Of course. Of course. <laughs> His ruse was a way to deceit you. <laughs> I guess you didn't see that, did you? Like, Guile. Ad libbed, by the way. Uh, yes, ad-libbed. totally ad libbed. <laughs> Guile. Alive. Of course. <laughs> Sagat. Acting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sagat, why do you give a shit? <laughs> and God wasn't even tripping on you except throwing your ass in jail, so you know. What are we doing here? <laughs> you about to be part of the digital industrial complex in Thailand. So, what are we doing here? And the both of y'all escaped <laughs> on the back of a pickup truck. Y'all literally went down the street to a like, all right, man, cool, cool, got you. <laughs> they joined the Southeast Asia leg on the Shadow Law Tong. <laughs> the Shadow Lu Tong. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Who knew that the spider webs were that long? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a nigga that like, it was it was in the wire with fucking that was the big dude that got his uh store t- store taken and he was trying to disappear from Marlowe. And Proposition Joe was like, why is it that every time somebody thinks about leaving town, they just go to the west side instead of just leaving Baltimore? What the fuck is up with this? That's exactly what Sagat did. He went to the Thailand branch of the Shadow Law. And I'm like, so you didn't just leave the country. These niggas know me, man. Nowhere. They know me over here. Right. <laughs> you know how bad it was when Ryu and Kim were walking around being the most unconvincing get this <laughs> ever because they were like, Hail Bison. <laughs> Hail Bison. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> like, I, mean, no, I think it was I think it was Ryu was like. Shadow Law forever. <laughs> Cobra La. Oh, my bad. Wrong. That's what it looked like. It looked like that Cobra La. Cobra. <laughs> Zig Zeon. <laughs> hey, this hey. man watches Gundam too. Yeah. Hey, hey, how Hitler? <laughs> Whoa there, Bob. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there, Bob. <laughs> Slow down there, Skippy. Well, Bison is not Bison actually believes in the Holocaust. We don't go here. All right. You got to get to get out of here. All right. Did you not? Man, I gotta uh, be real with uh, you. Uh, when you no, say no, it like C- that, no, CJ, I believe Bison CJ. was like the Holocaust. They didn't go far enough. Like no. I, he would have said that. Hey, hey, CJ, Bison no. would have said that. C- CJ, sir, first of all, I understand. Bison would have simply said, on the contrary, I mourn the Holocaust. <laughs> there were over a million Jews killed. And that's a single and and that definite term in caps. Why couldn't Hitler do it quicker? That's what he would have said. He would have said some, some is, evil crap like that. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, this is deviant what over took here. him so long? It seems like the resources to keep some of these people alive may have took it away from the front when they needed. Boy, oh my God! Raw, do you read our script? I can't do this. I can't. Like, nah, I can't do this. It's ninety four. Ninety four. You can kind of still skate on the Jews, and I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm do, do. Uh, So I gotta. Uh, I, I do want to ask you guys when you saw uh, when you saw Bison in his own lair. Dude, the room, the decor, the decor. The, the decor. Dude, check out the painting right behind him. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like the skull with the fire in the mouth. Oh, yeah, the, the like, fireplace, the fireplace with the shadow. That little, is the 90s skull. villain. Yeah, that's the no. 90s villain type ish right there. No, bro. I would no, I wish you had the uh, the pictures of it, D. I loved his uh, uh his collection of dictator hats. Oh, 
My man had the green. He had like five colorways in his hats, y'all. I'm not even fucking clear. This man had different colorways. DLC hats. Different color. What? No. Gray one was hot. No, no, gray no, no. was hot. That gray no, no, no. black like one D, was hot. Like, no, CJ, it, weren't, it wasn't DLC. They were X, triangle, circle, the different color. It's like the purple hey, hey, special hey, edition hey, hat. Hey, Chris. Hey, hey. And, I, and y'all that had Alpha 3, you hold X and see them change a different color. Like, well, that happened. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, man. I'm laughing at the fact that the, 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 the bars from Bison was great because number one, number one, all right, for I beheld Satan as he fell from the heavens <laughs> like life. <laughs> you still refuse to accept my godhood. Keep your own God. Fact. This might be a good time to pray to him. For I beheld Satan as he fell from heaven like lightning. That's that. that was I love that Raul Julia act. didn't have to. He and we didn't have to. And we are content ID. Not really. Oh, yes, we are. We'll really. see. Hey, look, hey, Ares, Look Ares. around and find out. <laughs> hey, Kurt, hey, Kurt, Ares, fingers crossed, nigga. Come on, man. Be on the side. No, actually, Raw no. ass upload. Look, look, Ares. No manipulation whatsoever. At most, we Ares. just it would just be like, hey, you're not going to make much money off of it. It's limited. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, hope, I would like to get my it. full penny, sir. <laughs> Why hey, do look, you keep look, denying Ares, look, me the truth? True. Ares in two hours. Again! Yes. Sorry, oh. not some dick here from but Russia. That being said, but that, anyway, that being said, oh uh, no, but I like that he didn't have to come in here and act. Like he you knew it was going to be, he, you knew it was going to be hot because I feel like nobody wrote that. Raul Julia just said that. Like he was in the moment. Like he knew that. that he knew that was going. Like when he said, "Keep your God." In fact. When he said that, I was that like, would be a good time to pray to him. Zeus look at the whole like, I don't remember writing that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> Mm-mm, nah, for me, mine was something wrong, Colonel. You come <laughs> here prepared to fight a madman, and instead you found a god? <laughs> Keep your god. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the whole Pax by like Sonic, to... the Pax by Sonic speech was good too. Oh, oh I I, hey, look, Zangief crying <laughs> like that was beautiful. No, I got, you, I got you all on that speech. I just wanted to mention, by the way, when he said "fell from heaven like lightning," he proceeded to do the most non-selling psycho crusher ever. I kind of liked it though. That's what we call <laughs> the Superman the, flying punch, the speeding the speeding punch. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been a whole lot. I would have believed it a whole lot more if he just did the freaking slide. Slides McGee. <laughs> yes, just do the freaking slide. Look, Raw we'll Julia. Be- Raw Julia and his cancer fragile state was not doing that. But but stringing nah, him nah. up and making him swing from left to right. Yeah, that that's <laughs> close enough. Say, close enough. I was about to say. We also got the glowing boots. I don't think we're giving that more credit. Yeah, the, yeah, the boots know. glowed up. Did you but love the you know, OG? That happens. That happens the, OG, when you get the, OG, the OG Super Turbo controllers that he used, uh, you know, to let them loose the bombs underneath listen, the water. Like, like listen, what was the listen, point? I had no, I had no problem with him uh, rocking the Dictator Twelves. Okay, I, I'm cool. Hey, I want those Dictator Twelves. The gl- <laughs> you can actually get shoes like that. <clears throat> but gentlemen, I do believe the speech went a little. You might have to say no, did he? Had to say that, Chris. <laughs> like, like, like. I just like <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> I'm, right. gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull the. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull the cap, Joe Biden. No, don't. No, I would not. <laughs> it's not Captain Joe Biden, sir. That is that is Captain Eastwood, sir. No, that is Cap Joe Biden, sir. We, he is renamed. All right. <laughs> Fine. You keep that one. <laughs> Listen, I was hoping to face Guile personally on the battlefield. One gentleman warrior to another in respectful combat. Then I would snap his spine. Ah, the road not taken. But why? 
why do they still call me a warlord? And mad? All I want to do is create the perfect genetic soldier. Not for power, not for evil, but for, but for good. Carlos Blanca will be the first of many. They shall march out of my laboratory and sweep away every adversary, every creed, every nation until the very planet is in the loving grip of the Pax Bisonica. <laughs> and then peace will reign in the world and all humanity shall bow to me in humble gratitude. By Sonica. I'm being real, Eric. That was actually beautiful. Coming. It really was. It really was. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Bison that day. He was the best guy around. What about the people he murdered? What so murder? <laughs> it really is. Like, what murder? You didn't murder anybody. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Because, um... <laughs> He's, like you said, he did not have to, but he came to fucking work. The man Putin, came to Putin, work. Putin, Putin wishes that he had that much charisma. All right, he he, th he thinks that's the problem. He thinks he has that much charisma. That's his issue. Um, but it's the same. Like he he brought his all. Like he he does the thing where like no matter what the movie was, no matter what the role is, you treat it with sincerity. He was having fun, not making fun. You do that, yeah. As a matter of fact, Prime, the line, uh, another line in particular, anyone who opposes me will be destroyed. Let me tell you something, Prime. Shar Ans Noble would never. Yeah. I mean. Technically, he wouldn't have to say anything. He would just drop a colony and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Shar. <laughs> Press the button, and well, there goes the colony. <laughs> well, that happened. Fuck Sydney. <laughs> he does a full elbow drop. <laughs> Man, nobody gives a nobody gives a fuck about Australia. <laughs> Maybe hey, glad I hit Australia. I could have got India, nigga. Oh Lord! <sighs> shout, shout out to Ireland, still having a colony just sitting there and didn't get destroyed. <laughs> But the potatoes, Chris. The potatoes. <laughs> Listen, sir. Listen, gentlemen. poor potato farm. Listen, gentlemen. Guy, guile. This line. I really want to believe any of our friends that went into the military after high school had to say this line. Four years of ROTC for this shit. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> This is all I get for this. Is this like all right? Ooh, Bro, got you. And again, Van Dam either already having enough coke drives crashes his tank. You are all under arrest. I felt like he killed like three people. He really <laughs> did. Like there, there was there was a lot of people that was underneath that uh that van <laughs> you know when i knew it like, like look now yes the movie kind of slipped in these little lines where you knew it was trying to be funny but outside <laughs> case of the in point bison you are off the air that was adr yeah oh, god that was that was the most that, sing, that was the most sober line that they got out of him that fucking day and yes darius bison's plan was to start new world order <laughs> uh yeah but, but wow wow i don't know who his nash was but I don't, know, like, I don't know who was got all of that. Scott, Scott. I mean, if you look a at a regular those, arms dealer, <laughs> got some very uh, diet uh, distro, diet distro, <laughs> Down syndrome blancas. I guess I don't know. You need to stop. They saw Dr. King and understood what freedom was. First off, By the way, black couple marrying and Dr. King that cures. Some Blanca savageness right there. You want to know that's something funny. It's something funny. So you mean to tell me, Chris? So hold on, hey Chris. It off. It hey, leveled. Chris. Fifty-one you to forty-nine. Yes, leveled so Chris, off. You trying to tell me that we don't need to be seeing white black couples? We need to see black couples in movies. Therefore, black couples will, equals positivity. They have a big positivity. <laughs> Shut the you fuck know, up. Shut you the know, fuck up. They go this white is people. Pro black movie. White people are. Dr. Umar, Umar will be doing this. I beg your pardon. 
Dr. Umar would be very proud of this movie, pro black. See, you see, you see, Blanca was a, like, you see, a white man was a savage and he saw black love. Yeah, yeah, thank me for the donation. No, um, somebody get him off because he's he's saying the word. You know, he's he's saying, black he's saying, I would really, I would really, <laughs> I would really like to believe that there was a deleted scene and because they couldn't get the clearance of Dawson. Uh, playing like all of the happy shit to balance out the negative, like the negative energy, like imagery. You know, I believe. You know, the Parks family was on that shit. No, 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 no. Because this is because it's the nineties and this because it's the nineties and and dude was still in like still in his popularity bag. He played Man in the Mirror. What you mean, save the world? No, not heal the world. Man in the mirror. Man in the mirror. It's man in the mirror. Eris, Eris, play rerun, play reruns of of how in heaven. (laughs) Michael Landon. (laughs) Yes. Hey, Michael Landon. That was that was Eric and Chris Benny hand touching three people, the whole crowd falling out. (laughs) Highway to Heaven was. It's one of those you had to be there during that time period of, of shows. That's all I know. It was because the closest you get, closest to anybody afterwards, had it was like touched by an angel, basically. Yeah, if I'm mistaken, yeah. And I think probably yeah, maybe early spin-off. edition. Oh <clears throat> shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, man, like when they can still say Jesus on on when they, you can say Jesus on air because you know it was different back then. You can do that. <laughs> hey, let me ask. Uh, let me ask y'all a question. Is this uh was this a message? Was this a message? The do- the good doctor said, and I quote, if good men do nothing, that is evil enough. No Dr. Prayers. Dawson. You know errors. I won't say the person's name, but he is powerful and black. He heard that when he was a kid, and that's what made him be the person that he is in- Obama saw this movie and was like, change hope. <laughs> yes. Powerful black and a nerd. So, yes, yeah, so he heard that and he's like, oh, shit. We got something here, guys. We Dawson told something. me to be the person I have today. <laughs> Dr. Dawson. So, so <clears throat> no, he saw that and said, so, uh, so, uh, who's trying to see me in the first of five? And what we found out is, look, what we like found out is this. Only good in art of fighting. He <laughs> wasn't good in the game. <laughs> we found out is after he took Michelle to that movie, Michelle was this close to fucking leaving his ass afterwards. <laughs> this, close. Yeah, this nigga play video games. He gay. See, back then, he was kind of fruity. <laughs> Why are you trying yeah. to play a game with a man with his shirt off? Is you fruity boy? What you need to do is be a president. And know? if you play, hold up. And if you play Chun Li or Cammy, like what you girly something? <laughs> Ugh, why you always playing See, with the white man? You like, it, like, it, like it was always, it was always the door filled, like uh, it was always the room filled, uh, filled with freaking alligators. No matter which way you went, <laughs> couldn't win either. You couldn't, you, you couldn't, couldn't win. win. It's a no win scenario <laughs> here. Kobayashi I, Maru right there. Like I said, I feel like Obama picking, was on the picking block. Did you a monster fucker? Hmm? <laughs> Look, pick Chang Lee. Oh, so that's what you like. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, look, be like commercial. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Don't pick Cammy, you win, nigga. <laughs> Getting all yeek, all that whatever. All, them, all that 16 bit yeekage. It's 16B. I like how I like my man said I like how Cammy didn't grow an ass until about Street Fighter 5. Then all of a sudden the Street Fighter Well, six. you know, the polygons four, got bigger. Four, 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 I would say four, four technicality. I would say Poly- four, yeah. The polygons say- got bigger, so you know they, they got more power <laughs> for the PS3. Go home, Chris. The PS3 Go power. Home. The power. Arcade, sir. Arcade. It was released in the arcade. Oh, what was Go it? The home. CP, whatever, both motherboard or whatever and shit. <laughs> But you know what? You know what? Look, it was so funny. I heard my wife say this Actually, years ago. Actually, Yikich came from X Men versus Street Fighter. <laughs> hey, hey, I do have to say this because my wife said this years ago, and I'm thinking. I mean, I be, I be thinking about it every now and then when I come across this. How horny did you have to be to make sure when you put my Sharon Nui in the game, her 16 bit boobs rock back and forth? How horny of a programmer did you have to be? <laughs> that is called. Uh, genius. dedication, genius. No, that is called, no, that knowing is called, your audience. No, that is, genius. Genius. that is called genius programming, sir. 
And they did it for the culture. They did it for the full culture. I call it marketing personally. I, that's what I <laughs> because they would turn around and no, see, they liked it so much. I believe video game companies loved it so much that they turned around and gave it to Asuka in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. I oh my god. god. No, Asuka. Yeah, Karai, ask, uh, ask, ask, ask. See, I, I, got, I get it mixed up. I get it mixed no, up. No, Karai was in the game, but you got to remember, Karai, Karai was like damn near the height of freaking Shiva from Mortal Kombat, dude. <laughs> Pretty much. She was the last person you fought, I thought, was it? She was one of the unlockable characters. Yeah. yeah. If you, especially if you had the Super Nintendo one. And she the had Genesis the most broken one. super as well. <laughs> I'm playing Leap that in game. the air and just hands. I got the Cowabunga collection. I can't play that game. It is one of the most broken fighters I have ever played. In my oh, yeah, the game is broken. It's oh, my God. Broken, that but game it's, is so but bad. it's fun broken. It's not so even meant to be taken God. seriously. I get if I play with two players, baby. But the computer, I could put the computer on easy. And that thing will rock my shit like it's a horror. Oh, yes. Like a oh, hurricane. Man. Like a hurricane, sir. Konami didn't know how, Konami didn't know how to come. Did, 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 rock it like a... Sorry, you can't, just keep... Yeah, let's see... That was intentional. See, that was intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was intentional. I think just I think though, uh but not as God. intentional as Gal's thick ass accent in his speech. Like, I'm gonna take that son of a bitch bison so hard. I like him. the fake, I like the fake he got shot plot. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, that went, went nowhere. Somewhere. The movie I dared feel, the movie, I like the movie dared to give us an Optimus Prime Transformers. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I think they had to do that. that because Jean Claude, that. they didn't know Jean Claude was going to show up on, on set of certain days. I so. say, Chris, I say that because it's like, oh, damn, we're this early. Like, we're at this point in the movie. You actually kill them off. Holy oh, shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Until Chun Lee was like, until Barra put his IT I skills to his, I see some, uh, some, I'm like, bro, when did the, what, what, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Chris, Chris, those are, those are some hard, high, those are high functioning fucking Microsofts they got in there, sir. That was okay. the DeVry school of ITN right there. That sir. was not DeVry. No, sir. That, no that it's was 1993. Me. The fact they got a computer that is functional outside of a wall socket is amazing right now, okay? See, that is Windows NT, sir. Pure NT. Don't you mean me? Me? No. No. <laughs> Millennium, Millennium came Edition. Later. Millennium, look, Millennium Edition at least had the uh, the 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 the... the the pinball game on that motherfucker. That was a moment in time, wasn't it? I'm gonna. Oh, the pinball game that everybody blew ass in. <laughs> it's like that. That happened. <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> hey, I let you know. I got fi- I got two free men in that game, so I don't think I'm Yay. ass. In it. <laughs> well, well, look. I mean, you know, the, the, you know, you know, it's look. Sir. Somebody count. Look, look, Shadow Lou was. Hold on, I got a question. Was Shadow Lou a whole country? It was an organization. It was an organization, but yeah. I think in certain, I think actually, no, in Udon's comic, that he has his own whole island, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, he has his own, yeah, he has his own he, island. Basically, basically, Bison took over an island in Southeast Asia. Kind of like, uh, what's the name of that Marvel? Uh, Magipore, kind of like that, basically. Yeah. Oh, oh, so like Shadow Lou is Magipore, essentially. I was gonna say, sort of like, um, Dr. Dunn. Or hold on, no, Laveria is wait, 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 wait. But see, I was gonna say, keeping it with the uh, commando, what was what was Baron Von Underbite, you know, you know, you know, Venture Brothers from, but it was like outside of Michigan or something like that. <laughs> no, nah, Laveria. It's like no put it this way, Magipor, think of any low level C D, maybe B, E list villain, they're there. Laveria, unless Doom wants you there, you're not coming there. That's that's the difference. I feel like that's one of those countries you gotta be born in the like. <laughs> like, look, 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 look. The American is saying this. <laughs> Shadow Lou is Magipor, where it's like so, so apparently we got fucking <laughs> every every bad guy in Street Fighters in Magipore, Basically, let me just, what is. But is there at least, of course, is there at least an infrastructure system in that country? I'm assuming it is. I hope yeah. so. It sounds like there's no working toilets now. <laughs> That's the way you made it. <laughs> like we got energy, but it's all on like generators and shit. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I mean, the animated movie Shadow, like Shadow Lou, was inside of a giant Buddha head statue. 
Let's I actually kind of like that. It was dope as shit. That Let's splits see. open and and has a hanger, <laughs> an indoor hanger. Son. That shit was dope. We look, we look, we sit here. But you know what, Chris, Eric, you say that. We sit here. We talk about. We sit here. We talk about American companies that don't know the full fucking source material. And then you see, then you talk about that scene. <laughs> The fucking blackbird flying out the motherfucking shit. Hey, that was all. Listen, listen, fam. That was all Japan. That's what I'm saying. We think in the same year, by the way. We think America's worse. We think like, all right, so they're gonna have boats. This is stupid. There's no boats in Street Fighter. What in a giant fucking shit? It worked. I think so. I like how Bison is actually one of the world's biggest drug dealers, and yet I don't know what drugs he push. Yeah, I it's mean, just it's just drugs. drugs yeah. <laughs> like, I love how drugs, drugs, cocaine, heroin. I don't know. I or, love how you can just say drugs and that just covers yeah this baseline of money you're getting. Like, dude, how you know how much money you have to take? It's so stupid when he said no, because that. Sha- dude, Shadowloo basically is the black market. They run everything: drugs, guns, slave labor. <laughs> uh yeah. I mean, as Chun Li said it best, it was 20 years ago. You hadn't promoted yourself general yet. Like you were just a petty drug lord. You and your gang of murderers gathered your small ounce of courage to raid across the border for food, Dude, weapons, and, ah, shit, shit, and, and slave time, hold on, of course, and slave labor. My father was the village uh, magistrate, a simple man with a simple code justice he gathered a few people so that he could stand against you <laughs> you and your bullies were driven back by farmers and pitchforks my father saved his village at the cost of his own life you had shot him as you ran away a hero at a thousand paces bison making drinks by the way during this whole thing yes too. no making drinks and switching hats and switching robes by the way I love robe, Mr. Hold Mr. Up. by Mr. the way Roger the house style. robe how, by the way the house robe and house shoes a shadow law drip again capcom I'm, missed I'm, opportunities here um anyway <clears throat> anyway bison i'm sorry i don't remember any of it you don't <laughs> remember for you the day bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the best line ever. I need to get, I, I still need to get that shirt that said it was Tuesday. I needed, yeah, uh, I need that shirt too. I want a shirt that just clearly says it was Tuesday. It was t- like the older I get, and the, the older I get, the more I understand about time and how, li- how long, how short, and how time works. And to hear him say, for you, I bet that was like, oh, my God, the world changed. <laughs> for me? Bitch, I woke up. <laughs> I went to work. <laughs> I came back home. I watched Leno and went to sleep. He said, I watched, I watched Leno. Leno and went to sleep. <laughs> Got to keep it up. It's 94. Got to keep it up. Like, yeah, think about it. I like, think about it. As much as we all do in our personal lives, we are all sitting at 40 years old. Think about the, the devastating times of your life. And think about your best friend going, oh, dad, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jim. Damn, dog, you didn't call me? All right, cool. You, you all right? Nigga, I, went, I had toast that morning. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, homie. In high school, you're like, dog, I man. can't even tell you what happened, man. I'm like, like I love, I love that line. Like I said, the older I get, the more I appreciate that. And I like it, and also the sincerity of Bison going, "Damn, where you from again?" <laughs> that, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta appreciate the that's how cool he give was. Like, I, what village I, was it again? Because I did a lot of villages, bitch. You gotta be, gotta come, you gotta come correct, man. <laughs> Oh my god, you hit the village leader. The village leader did all this shit. Damn, man, I was just walking in. Like, <laughs> anyway. It's like, that look, is... look, I no scoped him. Oh, damn, he was a special. <laughs> he was a special. I no scoped. <laughs> you didn't drive any loot. <laughs> I didn't pick up the dog tag, so it's not a kill confirm. Kill confirm. <laughs> 
<laughs> she he dropped loot until after like an hour later on the battlefield where Chung Lee showed up and picked it up and it said vengeance. So you know <laughs> say vengeance. <laughs> and I know. 20 year buff. <laughs> 20 year buff. <laughs> 20 year buff. <laughs> I, need to, I need to introduce more dialogue to you uh, to you gentlemen. Ken. Sorry, I talked you into this. Ryu, I'm sorry I listened to you. See, this is how we know. This is how we know that Ken and Ryu have this long, trusting relationship with each other because they're so buddy buddy with each other. It (laughs) feels like two different movies. It felt like two different action movies. Every time somebody talked to me, yeah, they went. They went to Andrew Tate's Hustlers University. (laughs) Nah, 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 nah. The joke for me was. Ball of damn man, you're bad. Yeah, I know how to take pain, man. <laughs> My so man, that you. whole scene was hilarious when he was just like just digging through his tooth, getting whipped. Was, was, no, no, but the line that he had it was like, you know, he had to, you know, you gotta act like the pain ain't there, shit like that, right? I was like, was that man supposed said, to be I, deep? My man said, I just, take my, I just take my mind to another place. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, is that supposed Can you give to be me a deep? sandwich while you in the other place? Too? Is that going to is that going to show up later? He in the movie? Say that, <laughs> that man said, Can you give me a sandwich? Can you give while me a done? sandwich the next time your mind goes away. Or was it? Can you give me a hand? Maybe only been here a couple of hours. Maybe wait a month. That was a good lie. That was a good lie. I was like, yeah, yeah. a 1994 Handy J joke. I love it. I love it. That's how you do that, man. The kids won't know what the fuck this is until about 2009. <laughs> Crazy. Blow their minds. Blow their minds right now. <laughs> what the Handy J with the line? They'll blow something. <laughs> Oh, on and on and on and woo! Might make your head blow up. Uh, guys, you know this movie had the following taglines. Oh, God. 1994, mind you, the ultimate battle. Adventure is in the name wait, of the on. game. Wait, wait, wait hold wait, on. Wait, wait, Show wait, me wait. a battle. Show me a fight. Show me a fight. I was just about to say what, what fight. Uh. <laughs> Well, one in particular was uh, Honda and Zangief on the on the model of Bisonopolis. Shout using, out to hold up, shout out to Toho giving them the okay to use the Godzilla like how, the kaiju uh, sound effects. I like how Sawada and the girl of DJ are like, is this racist? The fact that hold on, the fact that the both of them were speaking Japanese and they just I like how they they put a, 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 a emphasis on that they were speaking Japanese. I'm like. I'm like, so water, I don't think you hey, here's me. Hey, so water, I don't think you're really in the movie after this point. Gotta be real. When you see <laughs> when you see a cover like this, it gives off action pack, doesn't it? Man, it gives not, off action pack. His pack-ed. hair, his hair was not that large. Bro, his, the they, tr- they tried to go gal on the cover, but no, it was no, like, no, nah, that, that was John Claus regular was the hair. First the thing, that was the first thing my son go, where's his hair? So is the hairs under the hat? No, it's not. Son. The hair's not going to show it's up. I'm there. sorry. But sorry. hang on. Let me let me uh, let me get in. Let me let me get into the rest of these taglines. Adventure is in the name of the game. Get ready for the ultimate street fight. The ultimate battle is about to begin. This Christmas, shop early. The streets won't be safe. The fight to save the world is on. I think we might have a case for false advertising with that fucking street fight line. Hold on. Hold What's on. with the name Stru? Hold on, I think we might legitimately have a case. I mean, let's be real. That's it's how they got. That's how they got our asses in the movie theater at the time. To be fair, so you know. I gotta be real with you. I saw the jungles of fucking Australia. I did not see a screech anywhere in this movie. And when I did, you know what we heard? Quick change the channel. We have not seen it. Thank you. This is what it was. That was an action play. No, white knuckle action. White hot, white hot knuckle action. Bare knuckle this action. Christmas. Jingle all the way. For the streets. <laughs> streets are electrifying. I want to know the critics who said, me, 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 daddy, when they came out with this movie, we need a tag. We need a tagline for this. 
Not just one, six. <laughs> On eight different posters. Eight, <laughs> sir? Different posters. Eight. Oh, yes. Look, this is a movie that I think it represents, much like we talk about Bloodsport, of how like Frank Dukes, you can never do that because to fake a story like that and Hollywood picks it up. Like Street Fighter exists in that time period where it's like, well, I say we have we gotten better nowadays. It's inching. Mm. It's inching. It ain't really making huge leaps because the bar is in hell. So that's where we're at. But like to do and, movie, and as much as I hate to be that person, I know how it is. I think right now the audience are too uh, certain audiences are too divisive. They're going to be some that want it to be exactly what it is. You want the other half, like you know, I don't mind what the storyline they giving me. You know, just make up something new. Kimberly's not a ninja now; she's something else. I mean, like, you like, know what I mean? Like, you know, because like, like, think like, about you're it. You're gonna look, have that split from the audience. Like, look that, how man. a lot of us were holding our breath when they announced the Mario Brothers movie. We were like, "Oh boy!" And then my only like, problem with it, look, look, it's good. But my only problem was... I'm talking about before the trailer even happened. We just assumed they were going to be live. We were like... And then it was like animated. I was like... No, no, here's me. Animated by who? Illumination. Here's me. It's going to look like every Illumination movie. It's going to look like... And it did it. I knew a fucking did (laughs) The jokes... Illumination used the same eight jokes. Nobody has picked up on it yet, though. Nobody has picked up on it yet. (laughs) But we roll with it because... It's illumination. Come on, Groo D. Come on, minions, banana. You know that shit. Hey so, gentlemen. Uh, hey gentlemen. <clears throat> it's the collection agency, Bison. Your ass is six months overdue, and it's mine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you guys love six months overdue? It's about okay. overdue. <laughs> That's like he said overdue, overdue. Overdue. I like. I like how. Gal was about to euthanize Blanca. That's what I said. The best friend said, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. <laughs> Bro, he, he goes ball he head down. Said, 40, no. <laughs> son, he picked up that 45 and pointed it at it. Okay. Y'all want to see? Y'all want to see a recreation? <laughs> Here's a recreation of that shit. To be fair, when you look like this, I, I mean, I said the same thing. Shoot it. I shoot, said shoot it. Shoot I said now. shoot it. You know, double I you know, double like, 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 what, what, what we over here arguing for? Oh, <laughs> he shit. could be dead. He could like, be dead. Yeah, yeah. Down syndrome blocker. Just take him out. Take him well, out. You want to quit calling him down syndrome blocker? Please stop. All right. Carlos Blanca did not deserve none of the slander that you're giving him right now. Okay. I'm giving him the slander because I'm like, hey, hey also, he by the way, the head of Dr. King, sir. How dare you? How dare you, sir? They put those motherfuckers. He has a head full of speeches and adultery. How dare you, sir? He had, a, he saw a black couple slicing a cake at a wedding. Do you know how much peace is in that man's heart right now? I like how he I just see went no from down from syndrome. Uh, uh, he goes uh, like, kill, kill. Well, maybe a maybe the black family is not a danger to American society at all. Maybe if we look deep inside of our hearts and see that true prejudice is inside of us. The prison maybe, industrial complex was crazy. Maybe once we realize the systems are systemic, we can move forward as a society. Now, I cannot speak for those that want to still be a part of the system because the system is just there. We all have to leave, live. We all have to eat. We all have to take care of our families. But what the white man does not have control is over your heart. Once the white man gets control of your heart, yeah, we need to shoot this thing now. We need to shoot him in the yeah. head. <laughs> I don't like all, like all these ideas are a little bit too happy. <laughs> Frustratingly react. I can't take this shit no more, man. Dawson, but to this day, Dawson showed up in the drawers, in the no shirt, in the <laughs> probably the blood on his head. <laughs> it's not blood. It's like, 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 Chris, my other thing is this. Everything blew up and it did blow off his clothes. And that was the only thing. <laughs> 
So my question is, was the diaper underneath the lab coat, or did you have a party? I, I think the lab coat is the, is listen, the diaper at this I, point. Listen, I told y'all from the jump this man was uh, playing the long game. That he was wearing a wig, he was wearing the clothes. His actual costume was pants. under his uniform. I pulled away Joe. He's in his warm up jumpers. <laughs> the pull away just. <laughs> You really think we're gonna get hold on? You really think we're gonna get 1994 blue screen Dawson stretch arm and legs? Okay, okay, I got the corner of the rubble, and he's like, It'll be okay. We're be don't die. We are going to die together. I I must also, I must also atone for my hand in this madness. Okay, you were here to madness. My son, my my friend told me, I will never forget this. How you doing, Marcel? It's been years, man. I didn't. I seen you a couple years ago, man. It was cool seeing you. And I tell you about three black geeks. I don't think you're listening, looking at me. But if you are, remember that fucking lie you told me that they yogurt out of the whole bussy. <laughs> They use, oh wait, I wait, will wait, never forgive wait, you for that, Marcel. They use yoga teleport. They use yoga teleport. That's what he, I, will, I will never forget. We were sitting and talking about that movie in, in motherfucking wait, Allenwood, nigga. Wait, we were sitting wait. And talking oh, about that wait. movie and you told me that. Wait, stop. Stop, D. You are not going to sit here and tell me that Dawson used yoga teleport like instant transmission and got both him and Blanca out of that rubble. Don't do do. I refuse. I refuse to believe that. Oh my god! I will never forget that we sat and argued over that because I thought that was so stupid. Because I thought it was a dub that he showed up in the diaper, and we was like, "Yeah," because he was about to use the yoke of flame to make sure it was something stupid that a kid said. That's all I know that happened. After that. I forgot oh, this was a thing. There was a one shot comic book adaption of the film Street Fighter The Battle for Shadowloo in DC I Comics. I remember seeing it. the cover years ago, and that's all I can tell you. I Let me tell you something. The cover in the Wizard, in the wizard comic, and I mean, the Wizard Junk, and that's all I remember. Let me, t- let me tell you something. That is right up there with the Street Fighter comics made, uh, produced by Malibu. Ah, oh, Malibu Comics. You remember right. kids. Where oh, Ihonda no. fought the ferret and washed him. So you know You're right, CJ. We used to be a country. We used to be we used to look at ourselves and say, Hey, all you artists who are doing speed, draw. <laughs> Robert Townsend. Somehow, I'm sorry, Robert, Robert, Robert Townsend somehow in the same get out of here, man. For real, <laughs> I only own issue three of the comics. You actually got all of them. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Chris. Go Robert ahead. Townsend somehow convinced Marvel Comics to team up Meteor Man with Spider Man. It's always that's a flex that you could do in the 90s with comic that is book companies flex. to but, actually but get those have, kind of things happening. I, I like the I like how. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, he I like he it. Dawson went to the he Fatal did. Fury School of Uniform Change. I like the fu- I like the fact that um <laughs> now I'm thinking of him ripping his shit away. <laughs> Great. Oh, you mean like you mean like how he would just take he just grips one part. Just oh, one yeah, part. Like, he, no, he just like, no, he, no, you grab the shirt, you just grab the shirt and yank it off by ripping the shirt off. You rip the entire costume away, like classic, classic SK shit. And of, and of course, course, and of course, when you and of course, when you yeet when you yeet it off, it disappears, it fades away, it, it just fades away <laughs> upon it either, yeeting. It either fades out or flickers out. What did it do? That's how high the graphics are. <laughs> 90s fighting games, ladies and gentlemen. I used to, and I, and I remember everybody was trying to, I remember we was all trying to say who was who, and I remember one kid being incensed, just pissed, that Faye Long was not in this movie. Why but I remember, you? but hold on, this motherfucker, and I think it was you, Marcel, you used to say stupid shit, nigga. Oh, I think he said this because I remember kids saying, "Oh, Sawada was supposed Sawada to be was supposed Faye. to be Faye Long." No, Sawada was supposed to be Ryu and Byron oh. Man. Byron Man would have been the perfect Faye Long. Or, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me slow down. Not perfect because he looks nothing like Bruce Lee, but he would have been he would have been the good enough Faye Long. <laughs> good enough Faye Long, like. Dude, we we're dealing with, with Filipino Ryu right now, okay? But 
Nice. Fireman is full of Japanese. Oh, man. No, he's not. I thought he was Japanese. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop it. I thought Fireman was Japanese. This Nigga, is. he is British Honk. He was born British Honk. Oh, he's China. Honk. China. Yeah, Chinese. My bad. I, th- I, I, I swear to you, I didn't even pay attention to his. Sir, I he was his parents are both Chinese. <laughs> Okay, he then. is Chinese American. His mother's Chinese American, and his father's full blooded Chinese. <laughs> Don't you do that? My bad. It, so, so I got a question. How does it feel like, like, hey, mom, I got a role in the movie? Oh, what you play? I'm playing the Japanese dude for real, mom. I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> you know these one. Look, the one thing that all all people of color has this conversation as actors. You know these white people don't understand this. So I, I just say yes, mom. No, said, no, no, no. I'm just trying to get paid. <laughs> just trying to get paid. Every per like every actor of color have went through that. You know, unless they were told, you know, that's cool or some shit. You know, I ain't going into that. You know, that's optics at that point. <laughs> but wait, okay, but gentlemen, think about this. As much as Sawada was uh, was underused and underdubbed in this movie, um, he would go on to greatness by showing up in Thunderbolt a year later. Thunderbolt. Yeah, the Jackie Chan movie. Yeah. Oh, oh, god dang! Good. I'm sorry, you said Thunderbolt. Like Scare that. me! I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute, what? Not the Thunderbolts. <laughs> I'm talking about the the Jackie Chan car movie Thunderbolt. I, like, no, I thought when you said Thunderbolt, it was gonna be some B movie like starring Roddy Piper. Or some no, and, you know what I mean? Hold on, and no. he was also in another Jackie Chan movie. No, Shinju- the Dragon he, Wilson. He, he Roddy was Piper. also in uh, he was also in the other Jackie Chan movie Shin, uh, Shinjuku incident. Mm. Oh really? Yep. Mm. Nice. Right. Remember, 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 I hate Ella. Every time we mention that, though, I gotta mention how somebody said that was a Scarface in China. Oh, dude, the, they they really try to advertise that shit like it was the Scarface in China, and I was like, what was what? that? Somebody in a that was a white person that did that shit. Oh god, bro. Scarface well, well, is there anything else that we did not cover with this crazy ass movie? Um, let's see. Other than the fact that Bison control, no, Bison literally controls everything, uh, from his fight stick. From his fight stick, his two player, his two player fight stick. I would look. I pause that day because, like, I'm gonna see the little thing to insert the quarter in that joint. I know I am. <laughs> that was the only thing that was missing on that bitch. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. No, I got okay. Couple f- more stupid lines. Chun Li and, and Cammy, the one time they actually met and interacted with each other. Pigtails, look who's talking. Oh, see, see the girls, the girls, and girls talk about hair. It passed the vector test. <laughs> I just want to say, at least it passed the Bechdel test. Um, <laughs> Jump the hurdle. We did this for what we, we, this for what we can, y'all. Another Progressive. Step. Another, wait, gentlemen. No weapon, Bison. What happened to the purity of unarmed combat? He's a this is merely superconductor electromagnetism. Surely you've heard of it. It levitates Surely bullet trains from it. Tokyo to Osaka. It levitates my desk where I ride the saddle of the world. And it levitates me. Dun, dun, dun. Cue I'm the sorry. Light, put a cue to light up boots. <laughs> so, so Tevin, so Tevin, I don't know if we can blame white kids or a combination of us black kids because I doubt because I ain't know one black kid that owned this. Did you know that this 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 that Street the soundtrack? Fighter soundtrack went gold? Yeah, oh, yes. five hundred million sold. Courtesy Third. of one Deion Sanders was doing the soundtrack for this. All right, look, 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 Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Was that Do- is that uh, Ice Cube? Nas. Yep. The Far uh, Side. The Far Side. Yep. LL Cool, cool J, J. Craig, Craig Mack. Mack. Oh MC shit! Hammer. Craig Mack actually had hands MC in this. Ha- he did. MC Hammer and Deion Sanders. Let's yes. get that right. Yes. <laughs> Chuck D and the Wrecking Crew. The record the Wreck League. You know, the during Wreck that League. time. Remember that time where he was like, "Yeah, fuck y'all, I gotta do other shit that ain't Public Enemy," and then immediately started and keep keep making Public Enemy sounding songs. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, apparently this boot this went this went 
and perform gold. Who knew? Let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all this question. Take Nas's song "One on One" and throw that on the character select screen for Third Strike. I be honest with you, I don't know how that sounds. It's not beating Infinite. Sorry, I'm not asking to beat it, but here's the thing: this this movie soundtrack predated Third Strike. I'm sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's what gave him the idea to do. You know the the music direction for Third Strike was, you know, the movie was terrible, but that soundtrack was fire. Nah, nah. I think the first batch of weebs showed up in 97 over there and they were the black guys that knew this much rap, but that was all the rap they needed to influence all the Japanese friends around them. So that's that's what that's Or what no, you street I mean you Street Fighter from Ice Cube as a character select screen. I mean I'm mad I went to Byron Man's Wikipedia is his best known for Ryu and Street Fighter. That's the first thing they show. I'm sorry. <laughs> Byron, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You know you what? So much, you were in so many different stuff, man. I'm sorry. That's got to be the one they chose. <sighs> I agree, man. It's but, not um, even on streaming. Can't even, you can't even find this movie soundtrack on streaming. That's crazy. Wow. That is... That is... Hmm. That's wild. That's a trope. That's a, that's a choice. <laughs> just, I gotta feel like Ice Cube like fuck no. <laughs> Ice Cube oh. probably don't. Even, Ice Cube probably don't even remember doing this damn thing. Wait a minute. Okay, so you guys remember the ending to uh, like to Alpha Three, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where everybody's ending always shows Guile, and, like Guile bombing uh, Shadowloo, right? Yeah. This movie was gonna predate that. No way. It was. This movie was originally supposed to do it. Like, DeSouza pretty much envisioned the attack on Bison's hideout to include helicopters blowing it up, but was unable to do it due to the political instability in the neighboring town, which is why the AN troops attack via boats instead. Of course. Goddamn rebels ruining our movie. Rebel Rebels. <laughs> Who knew that the like, we didn't try to scare nobody, we just try to ball the shit out of a place in the middle. And that was supposed to be the exterior shots, like, and it was all because all because of neighboring Burma, they couldn't do it. Burma. Political like the political instability of Burma stopped us from greatness. I do love the fact but that Rambo now, managed to get it done. I like I do like the fact that would that be now, a decade and a half, sir. <laughs> I just like the fact now that I know that niggas in Burma <laughs> gotta stop that fucking movie. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Thank you, Lucas. Yeah, that's correct. Basically, they're gonna do what we saw in the animated film. That's very true. Mm-hmm. Except the end, like except here's are the some... difference. This is, except here's the difference. Imagine the, the 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 PR backlash that they would probably get for shooting and destroying a Buddha statue head. I, I feel as though true. I feel, true. You're right about that. True. But I feel like when what, what everybody's saying this is going to end with the whole place getting bombed. I think that's just a logical choice, really. Especially in the '90s, what happens? I think that's basically how everybody the video was game, basically the video game ending. You know, they already uh, were going over the number of actors that they could have in this movie. So no, we were not going to get Akuma fucking teleport in and hitting the raging demon on Bison out of nowhere, or um, the whole statue standing up, eyes open. I'm laughing that God, the point. Alpha Three ending, <laughs> shooting the freaking laser and bouncing it off of a satellite. I find it funny that throughout the whole holidays that Street Fighter came out, it and Little Women were battling for number one superiority. <laughs> and Street Fighter actually made money. Shockingly enough, it actually it, did. Did, it made money. It actually it made, made money. money off the strength of the game. Yeah, that's what I say. I think that was probably one of the more stronger IPs compared to like, which is ironic considering that they had a Super Mario Brothers movie that just tanked. But you know, I think like, I think it also benefited. There was still a time where kids actually go to the movie theaters in droves on Christmas Day. You know, Christmas Day is still a big day for for movies, but two it's days always, before it's always a, it's always a hit or miss to me. This you know, movie drop. If, if a movie is going to be a hit during Christmas, you this, know what I mean. This movie dropped two days before Christmas. 
Thirty-five million dollar budget made ninety-nine point four million dollars. I think this was a movie where they was like, "We, we, we, it better make all. It better make its money back." Just period. I don't think they had. Well, but I think it lucked, and I lucked out that, like you said, just off the strain of Street Fighter, you know, and just kids, well, being, you know, and kids being kids. Before, well, here's the thing: they, when it when it finally I got released, when it finally got released on VHS in '95, and it, and it went out to all the uh, video like video stores, like especially the rentals. Oh, uh, in the U.S., it sold more than two hundred and fifty thousand copies in '95 yeah, alone. That, that, that DVD, them them home video sales were strong. And of course, it was broadcast on cable, later released on DVD and Blu-ray and digital streaming. And the videos, home releases, and television broadcasts have been profitable for Capcom, giving them a return of hundred and sixty-five million dollars from was, the films, box office, wow. and home media revenue. I was so pissed wow. off. At when Street Fighter 4 came out, they put wow. out that bullshit Blu-ray of this movie, and it was bare bones as shit. Oh, it was super bare bones. I was I was so mad because I was hyped, like, oh shit, we're getting on Blu-ray, it's gonna be great. And what was this? I think I think the one thing a lot of and of course they benefited all the nostalgia of this movie. Despite all the bad shit we said about this movie. It actually it got cult status by it got cult it was, status. It was one of those situations where it's like it got cult status because Raw Julia, like when you really watch of course. The movie, it's you really realize like, oh no, Raw Julia was dialed in on this movie. He was of like course. No, I'm I'm putting a hundred percent into this movie, and it's like wow, okay. And it's just the unintentional and also let's be real, you think about the time period of the internet, it benefited also from gif and meme culture. The early era of GIF and yeah, culture. Yeah, I think it really did too. I think that's really quick. Change the channel was a fucking Reddit, early Reddit. <laughs> GIF actually, and meme. actually, though, I I need people to bring uh quick change the channel into Twitter. Anytime somebody has a hot take or a really stupid take, and they and you just now see it, like the moment they post it, you need to throw change in the quick change the channel. I think quick change. The- Hold on. Right, wait, wait, up. wait, wait. Quick change the channel needs to be the new. There's still time. Delete this post. <laughs> I uh the the I put the, the last time I put that up on Twitter was actually the day that Putin got his place raided. And they say I'm right outside of Moscow Palace. Quick change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, man! That that yeah, it, it, it was a moment. You had to, it's one of those you had to be there in order to really understand Street Fighter. No, I know, but yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, because because uh, people younger than us ain't gonna understand well, nobody it unless, you, love, unless you tell them, unless you well, te- unless you actually here. unless you actually tell them. Because think about it, like the young people younger than us, Legend of Chun Li is their Street Fighter, unfortunately, and. Are you sure? I don't think they know that movie exists. Yeah, we yeah. don't talk about I that movie. That movie exists. That's what I'm do saying. not talk about that movie. I forgot that movie no, exists. I'll say this. When Thanos, when Thanos did the snap, that no, movie no, no, went no, with no, it. No, 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 I remember the movie. You want to know why? It was a... Because you it, vouched for the no, movie no, no, the no, longest no. time. Yes, you did. It was a... You want to know why? Well, because it was something that all of us on that the was was back then. Battlefield Chris, wasn't it? The message boards back there, we said it best. <laughs> that movie was literally a SNK movie disguised as a street fighter, as a Capcom Street Fighter. I movie. will never forgive. If you think you know you, what not you. You know man. what? I'll allow it. Bison right. in that movie was literally was like so this was just Geese Howard. Geese All, right. Howard. All right, this is Terry. <laughs> just do a Fatal Fury movie. Wait, wait, wait. Like, no, 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 Chris. This, that movie was the closest we ever got to CVS three. <laughs> ironically, right. enough, ironically it was enough, the closest we ever got thing. to covers. You got a nigga that looks like Eagle. They're, they're out of line, but they're right. <laughs> that was a that was a weird era. It's like on one hand we got the SNK disguised Street Fighter movie. On the other side, we got. A KOF movie disguised as whatever the fuck it was. I, I, you know, that was, I feel like the KOF movie. Of course, movie, the anime movie was better. I feel like the KOF <laughs> movie. 
<laughs> Did you really just say that? Because they, they, they're both equal. In my KOF eyes. movie. Look, look, KOF movie no, no, I said animated like, movie was better. Oh no, no, oh, no, no, but I was like, KOF I was responding. No, I was responding to the chat. KOF no, I was reading that. I was reading that shit. But the KOF movie really felt like it. It was trying to be something else, and then it realized, okay, what if we make that dimension shit fighting games? It was fighting literally. Fighting. You know what? It was the equivalent of this Street Fighter movie that we just talked about. It was like the director went in and was like, ah, that KOF shit, that tournament shit, nah, we ain't doing that shit. Matrix. People love the Matrix. So like you, you, you know, you could have just approached SNK, who put a whole lot more story into their fighting games. You know, there's, <laughs> Easy on story, sir. No, there, no, no. Fuck, no. Fuck, with, fuck what you think. The, the Orochi saga of KOF 94 to 97 we're not even only gonna weaves into, like that Eric. we're I'm not even going to go we're not even going to go into weaves. we are not going to go into only the madness that like is no saga. weaves like the nest saga oh yeah yes yeah I'm sorry. shut the it the nest saga the nest saga is the reason why you and i don't talk to a person no more okay <laughs> because he saw that and then he saw alba Mira and lost his first shit. of all that is other world that is other universe snk we're not <laughs> gonna S&K, talk about even that. snk doesn't i'm just saying they don't. because he loved the nest saga so much when he saw that transsexual show up he was like i want to be that and, nigga. They, and they used them to be uh k49 for uh ko15 crazy yes right? <laughs> so I, I, d I, I, consider that this is uh, consider this movie came out in 1994 and, it, like and it's 20 and it's 2020 f- shut up i'm not even gonna talk about Shermie being on speed dial in that god awful movie anyway consider that this movie came out in hey, 1994 in. this movie came out in 94 right and what are what are, what are you you g roll on that joke too <laughs> they had all listed names My yeah God. you mean yashiro yashiro chris pretty yeah, much the yashiro, new face they, te- the new oh face team God. was on it hey, yashiro what are you doing let's you jump in fucked up you may have just fucked up i think we have to do that movie oh my not. no God. no i don't want to do it either no 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 but hear me out here we are william lee look william lee on the set like this <sighs> why am i here what's wrong I'm gonna carry in this shit. Maggie Q don't Maggie Q over here saying she ain't carrying shit. I gotta do this shit. Here's me. Hey, Will, I like you. Are you sure you carry it? <laughs> listen, this is supposed to be his breakout listen, bill. Listen, I like you. This listen, is what, gentlemen, you this ain't movie, lying. That was supposed to be the breakout. That was supposed to be the breakout. All right, gentlemen, this movie came out in '94. It's 2024, <laughs> and we have we have a line in here. The, one of the last lines in this movie that I think if they made this today, would it be considered problematic? Which is <clears throat> Colonel Guile. How about that interview for my network? Sure, but only if you are wearing that dress. <sighs> see, see, this is why John. He dodged, John, we talked about he, this. He you can't talk. You can't say that. You can't say that. Okay, you can't say that to her. Okay, that's implying that you want to put your wee wee in her. You can't do that. First off, are you white saying wee wee? Like... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chris. That's the joke. <laughs> That line was also ad libbed. I was gonna say that, like, do it, y'all, Claude. That's my mean nine had a smile on the face because duh, it's ninety four, John Claude. But then it was just, ah, because she know that he did coke all those times, holding up the motherfucking film. And yes, Brian, I agree. Masami Obari understood the value of SK story. <laughs> I guess. Don't do that. Y'all need to stop that. All right. Y'all need to stop that. I get it. it so go for it. I'm about to say, look, I get it. Chris, Chris, look, I get it. WCW to WWF. I understand. Okay, I get it. But y'all need to stop, all right? Y'all talking about, oh, this is shit. Nigga, I'm looking at Buff Bagwell. Ch- chill out. <laughs> chill out. Like, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Somebody, somebody, somebody in that room at WWE was like, main event, Buff Bagwell, Booker T. Let's get this going. And I'm like, why would you do that? Why would you do like, that? Why are y'all still on that shit? This is why wrestling fans, this is why I don't talk to wrestling fans. Because they always want to say some goobe shit like that. Yeah. Nah. I'm <laughs> awesome. sorry. 1994, we are fighting a man. We're fighting a man in a suit who has a panther, a black panther at that. And 
<laughs> the most pantherous of the most pantherous of panthers. My man actually directs it to go in the other direction while he beats your ass by dragging you from one corner to the other corner with a laughing skull. I kind of do, do, do y'all think Rugal stank or he like smells like cologne? Because I think it's a mixture. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I feel, I feel, <laughs> by I feel the like... way, and by the way, his old stage from KOF 94, he had the Street Fighters, he had all the Street Fighter characters. Uh, like frozen in carbonite statues. Well, I mean, that's why I like the CVS 2 intro with all the heroes of Street Fighter where he has statues and they cut it down and so with Gal. I think yeah, Gal used the sonic boom to break his own statue. <laughs> it's like, nah, get this shit out of here. <laughs> but nah, yes. I, 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 I yes, like, coke, look. Coked out smashing Kali Minova, man. Yo, like I really was that like, tracks. nah, but like that, like I said, the KOF movie that was like bare bones KOF because wow, I can't even call it bare bones. This, Dude, look this, at the amount of cast like, people in that. It was this, KOF, in my opinion, it was KOF in name only. But here's the funny thing: this, much like Tekken Blood Vengeance, is a movie that hurts you. Because you know who the characters are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know what the characters are and how they function. And you've seen them in the movie. You're like, the fuck is going on? But like that, like, like, like when we saw Anna, when Anna was like the principal of that school, you're everybody. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait a minute, bitch. How did you survive after you and Nina? You no, know, whatever. It's like, oh, what's that? Opening so Opening day, it made three million dollars, grossed about nine million, nine and a half million on its opening Christmas weekend. Days was crazy, and <laughs> it came in number three behind Dumb and Dumber and the Santa Claus at the box office. On the second weekend, it made seven point one million and dropped all the way down to number seven. At the end of it, grossed at about thirty three million and sixty six million overseas, totaling ninety nine million. Hmm. That's there it. you go. There you go. Yeah. Steven DeSouza will pay for his crimes. <laughs> I think he already did by making the movie. Well, he made, well, he, he, to be fair, he, he paid for his crimes. Bad movies to, to be fair, he paid for his crimes when he did Hudson Hawk. So, you know, it bounces out. <laughs> I, guess, yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Pissed off Which, by the way, did you know he, he campaigned to be the director? Like, that was simulation. <laughs> <laughs> so Capcom was like, hey, we'll give you the rights. But we need a treatment the next day. Was it a Julie producer. Bagwell on a pole match stipulation? What's the hell going on here? I'm sorry, what? No, they did first to five in Street Fighter 2. <laughs> I'm sorry, so they the needed the treatment the next day? The next day. And the producer was like, I know the perfect guy because he did uh, Die Hard. Because, I mean, come on, that's like Thriller. He did Die Hard. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so he went to him and was like, hey, we need to do this treatment of the day. He's like, I'll do it. But I get to direct, and it's like, all right, fuck it, you got it. And then they <laughs> went with it. And surprisingly, it. as we know, Capcom liked it. Why? Who who knows? Who like who exactly this whole knows? process, this whole fucking process, this movie is like a fever dream. Like it, it feels like everything possible for them for the movie to go wrong did not go wrong. In fact, the stars aligned for this movie to be fucking made. Yeah. Despite yeah. you know, despite the movie being behind schedule, yeah. and over but uh, not they couldn't go over budget, but you know they couldn't. I thought MK make... came out. Yeah, MK came out after this, right? MK came yes, out in ninety five. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I they mean, thought they did and went. <laughs> let's just let's, let's do the tournament. Let's just do the tournament. Let's, do the tournament. Let's, let's put fighting in our fighting game movie. Let's let's yes. try that. I like how they did that, and then the next movie, Yahtzee. Like, they didn't give a... F <laughs> next movie, they said, let's just go Smorgasbord, more combat trilogy. I'm like, what? no. They no. had more fighting. I get, we, we gave them that. There was more fighting. No, it was backflipping reptiles. That's what it was. Nah, cartwheeling. In, in, the in, Boone, in the background, Ed Boone, rubbing his nipples. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the lore. <laughs> the lore. The nah, Lord. my favorite, my favorite part. Him it's deleting Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. The actual elder <laughs> god showed up and said, "In Mortal Kombat." No, that's the word part. When he said that, Mortal Kombat. Like, the nineties asshole ready to press the button. Who he said that? The nineties gave us some very, very terrible video game based movies. 
I think I'm I think absolutely I'm dreadful. I mean, didn't try to be good. There was FM. There was there was full motion videos that were out with these like the shitty ones you see on. <laughs> it was full motion videos. Like a CD era. Here's the funny thing: all of them were bad too. But then you look at, but then you look at something like Wing Commander. Electronic architects who put money into that. They actually made it look good. They actually had stars when they had Command and Conquer. They put stars in that. In the nice. They 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 put real writing into that stuff. But then, how can we put it to film? Gotta get Matthew Littered in this motherfucker. <laughs> you imagine the shade, the shade of fur off those cats. Going going off a of Sega CD to to make a movie off of a product. Could you imagine a, a live action film adaptation of Snatcher? Ooh man, that would be crazy. Snatcher. Snatcher. No, because people call the shit discount Blade Runner. No, they would. How about to say? In fact, that's Our Blade Runner at home, nigga. Uh, in <laughs> fact, that's what it probably would be. Or, 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 fine. If that's, if that's, like, if that's too much. Hold on. If that's too, if that's too much for you in '91, what about uh police knots? I mean, check it out, Harris. Fans didn't show up for Johnny Mnemonic. What the fuck make you think? <laughs> Not even Ice T could get. Everybody into Johnny, Johnny Mnemonic. Mnemonic. No, 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 all, no, 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 Don't put no. it on Ice T. <laughs> first of all, Johnny Mnemonic. Let's be real. The, the, the promotion was barely there for that movie. But that all the point I'm trying to say is that there was a lot of science fiction movies that ran into <laughs> almost the same bullshit as everybody. Like, and guess, me, and guess what, D? There was a lot of there was a lot of sci- no. Guess what? There was a lot of science fiction shit that got greenlit one season and we never saw it again. That being said, like I said, that being said, though, I think you can still do it. I think Snatcher would have got lost. I think Police Knots would have went over budget. It would be a nightmare. We we will be reading the notes of. I'm sorry, y'all finished making this? D, they did it. They did it. They were repeating shit. Like I feel like Panique Stotts would have been a disaster. Snatcher, you could probably make it, but I think it get lost. I think you get lost amongst all of the, all Snatcher. of the the, the, the all- Snatcher would have been straight to VHS. <laughs> oh no, you giving it that? No, you're, I'm, it, I you're mean, saying yeah, it would have been lost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're, yeah, you're saying yeah, it would have yeah, got right. lost. Meaning yeah, I'm it sorry, found, I, I said it wrong. Me, I said it wrong. About it. Meaning it would have found cult cult status on the uh, rental. You better look, 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 look. Chris says that with Giver too. You need to, sh- you and him need to chill with that shit. <laughs> I mean, at least Giver too had something there. So, oh, look, Chris, cool. Chris, gotcha. Chris, Chris, I understand that, but people remember JJ Walker, Giver, more than that one. Let's not, mm. let's not. Because JJ mm. Walker, that's why. Mm. No, 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 no. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> people are because yeah, people are stupid and they recognize stupidity. They don't recognize when it's good. See, Chris, now you're fighting for your side. I'm fighting for my side. It's just truth. You're fighting for your side. You're fighting for your side. The fans that want that. The fans that want that. The fans want, wanted racist monster. Job All right. Talking. I mean, if you really think about job it. Job talking. I job mean, talking. No, if you really I think joke. about it. If you really think about it. Snatcher. Live action film. Main character played by Michael Douglas. Keep it moving. Mm. Better stop I that. It. I can see Better it. Stop that. You know Michael did a call for do it and not Michael Douglas. You better not do that. See, Snatcher would have been an HBO special like Fist of the Daniels. Gary Dan, you would have like Gary Dan. You'll say what happened to Fist of the Door Star. <sighs> we don't talk about it. That's what. That's what. Go. we are not gonna talk about Borderlands, Tevin. Borderlands okay. actually looks pretty good though. Okay, you know what I saw? No that bad I, video I, game adaptions. Here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the, Borderlands here's looks pretty good. Mm-mm. Here's the thing. Kind of shaky. Looks How good, the hell does it I look? Heard it ain't good. Oh no, so Fallout's let's... actually really good. No, Fallout's fine. They said Fallout's it's good. Actually... Yeah, they said it's actually good. It's they actually Lions rate. Looks... They rate Fallout okay. above The Last of Us. Yeah, it's actually really good. They, they, Ooh, they. they yeah. Are you fucking for real? Yeah, I'm dead like, serious, man. I, I will say, I will say this about Fallout. the ratings have come in for Fallout, and it ranks above The Last of Us. I will say this: the reason why is because it leans. At least in my eyes, it has all the Fallout lore from the games, but it leans a more on the Fallout Three side of the story they tell. Oh yeah, they ain't touching seventy six. 
why would 76 had no story? The fuck, come on, that's the point. Have no story at all. They're not gonna try to shoot on us, and, yeah, like, and, and you don't want to jam too much of this, uh, the story from four in it, all yeah. Stuff. So it has and, a very fallout, and, and of three. course, and new Ve- court, and new Vegas will be season two. No, 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 new Vegas won't be talked about because you know, yes. Bethesda spoilers the way it ends, exactly, Chris. <laughs> You know what? That'd be wild. That would be wild. Season the, two, baby. That'd we be going wild to Vegas. Just, for, just for just for Roll all them to be like, yeah, yeah, do Vegas. We got new Vegas skins for Fallout 76. <laughs> but rolling moss covered dice. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, 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 yeah. But well, you know, whatever. Yeah. So next week, we're gonna do a movie that Eris likes. Well, actually, me and Eris been talking about for a minute. Um and that is the, the the very famous, the very famous movie where um, Charles Lee Ray rises from the dead again. Except this time, it's like a year later, but all the kids are older now. <laughs> but we're going to talk about Child's Play three in the next episode. And the only thing that really stands out is a black act, uh, a young black actor who never showed up in a movie was in it. <laughs> We see a young kid give his life to save everybody by falling on a grenade. Also, we get Ch- we get Chucky in a little thing like this where he's like, "This means war." <laughs> we get one of them. This nigga full Daffy Duck. <laughs> and of course, it's it's because Ch- it's, it's Chucky. It's a Chucky movie. It's like like these. You know, we were making fun of how this little nigga keeps on fucking up his old plan. He can easily grab somebody, Dale Ma and shit like that. He can easily do that shit. Man, sh- this man shoots himself out of a freaking can and just to tackle somebody to the ground. I'm still bad, Eris, at the unnecessary yelling. What the hell? Yeah. Ah! They were just toy boxes. This nigga act like a boulder was falling on them. <laughs> 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 oh, I I still can't get over it. I still can't get over it. I like how in the third act, Brand, what the Brand, hell? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like it was only like five or six boxes. No, <laughs> listen. <laughs> There's shocker, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Under that. What the hell? <laughs> there is levels to this shit, and yeah. these levels is just the fuck. And it's called Charles Lee Ray. Can't get a fucking break. We're going to see y'all next week with that shit. Peace, y'all. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs>